Yeah. it. Well, I have to pin it all over again. Darn it. But it's only a pin. Hi, y'all. I guess that one is lost. Not gonna e export that. I will journal reading. Hi, y'all. I need to get back. I need to get back to my own stream again. Hey, uh, stupid internet. Being dummy dumb. Dummy dumb dumb dumb. And I cannot read the chat. I need to reset everything. Good story. Hello, Yamper. I think it's okay. Don't tell me I like accidentally muted something. Let me check. <laughs> then click the mute. Oh. oh. Okay. 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 How are you? Hope you're doing fine. I hear you perfect. Good noise. I just, is the music too loud? Okay. Uh, we were reading about. Oh yeah, I remember. I wanted to show you. Just the music being a bit louder than the voice. Yeah, just the music. All right. I'll make sure to be close to the mic as close as possible. I remember I wanted to show you Eviar, the cat dragon that is immortal. So, where do I see? Where do you see? Uh, ah, in the Grand Blues comic, <laughs> you can see her. Eviar, Eviar. Don't mind it. To go through the list. Where the honk is she? Oh, there she <laughs> The last one here. A kitty cat. Hmm. Here we are. Hmm. Is it this one? Look! The cat dragon. Here we are! It's a green cat. <laughs> She's so fluffy. I'm doing well, just been a just been a bit grumpy cat on iRacing is all. You're a cat now? I thought you're Yamper, an electric dog. I'm doing a lot better as I'm gonna do a Porsche Cup this week. Oh good luck with that. Up oh, you're winning a lot. So cute and fluffy. Yeah, here we are. I don't have her, but I want to have her. It's a kitty cat. Here we are, the Emerald has joined the fray. We can see the... the character. Mm -hmm. Where do we see her? Oh, in Lyria's journal. Oh. Gosh, everything's going wrong today. The audio. Stop crackling. <laughs> Hi, y'all. Just want to have our peaceful. All right. Guess we can look at. So primal? Maybe just go to eternal. I don't know what they are. Grand? No. Other? They're not primals, right? 
Yeah, they're not, I think. Yeah. Here. Here we are. And here's the other form. The kitty cat. He's so cute. He's so fluffy. I never win or I won two races in total. I'm just driving for fun. Okay. Yeah, as long as you're having fun playing it. Look at her. He's so fluffy. <laughs> And she's in all bond and you. I cannot play any of those events. No, nope, right? No. Nope. Hey, y'all. This is terrible. And you cannot. Cannot play her side story. Ding. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Kind of one. She's a bit higher. It's a little improving and having a good time. Hmm. Yeah. That's nice. Today I'm just gonna chill with Grand Blue. Hi. Uh, hope the internet doesn't disrupt again. We're just gonna read a bit and then we're gonna do a side story. Maybe just one side story. Just to take it easy. The Earthsting Empire. Please read. A militaristic empire that has brought nearly all of Fanta Grande's Skydom under its control. It used to be no more than a small country called the Earthsting Kingdom. However, when the Black Knight gained control and made the switch to imperialism, what the Black Knight did? The strength of the empire increased tenfold. Hmm, sweet. Hmm. Currently, they are conducting vigorous research on primal crystals and the legacy of the astrals. But the Earth Day Kingdom was originally famous for techniques used to produce high quality golems. With all her. The earthly realm? What's that? Oh. The land of the dead. Those who have been to the realm and subsequently return exist only in myth. The earthly realm. Is he saying earth <laughs> is a dead realm? Ever since ancient times, falling to earth has meant death. Oh, okay. <laughs> We're dead here. Even today, there are some funeral rites that include casting the coffin of the deceased to earth. They just throw it, <laughs> throw it down there. Records exist of curious orders who had set their sights on earth, but each and every one has va vanished. So no one can be sure whether or not they were able to reach the earthly realm unscathed. Hey as there is too many taking it too serious and start screaming in anger. Oh yo, mistakes happen to everyone. And yeah, those are kind of the kind of players. I don't know, I cannot handle those kind of people. Very serious, very competitive. Did it? But they should be like, like. Maybe a separate room, a separate like section of the game where people can play for casual and then there's people who play competitively. I think it's fine if they have like separate section. The Earth Day Royal Family. The royal family that once ruled all the Earth Day Kingdom before its imperialization. Well versed in special golem creation techniques. They are considered the forefathers of the golem technology. The queen, though she has been rumored to possess ties with the astrals, was greatly loved by the people of Earth Day, and her passing is deeply mourned. However, the heir to her throne has gone missing, and many worry for her safety. Ooh. Dark Essence, what are those? A crystal born from the Earth Day Empire's research of Lyria and the primal beasts. Originally designed to mimic the power of the astrals, 
it has the power to bestow artificial astral power onto beings from the sky realm. However, wielding powers from a different dimension must not be done without great caution. Mm -hmm. The forbidden magic. Who is in four nights of a fallen land? We've done this a long time ago. Forbidden arts that defy all logic of the natural world. Due to the sheer dangers involved, all research was prohibited and eventually the arts were lost. However, one family continued to study the arts behind closed doors, thereby exposing numerous kingdoms to a terrifying menace. <laughs> the Druga pirates, the one we did for... To catch a giant fish! Druga Pirates, a group of fishermen, now in its seventh iteration, led by a woman named Sink. Why do I... And having good time and laughing a lot. And why I turn off the mic so I won't hear them. Oh, I see. <laughs> a lot of people think everything is counted on that one, instead of taking it easy. So there is a lot of crashes on first corner and left one at a time. Oh, I see. I see, I see. You start now the mic. The... Hmm. She and her pirates uphold the pride of protecting the island from rowdy guests, monsters, and other troubles. Her destiny is to take down the primal beast Albacore. It's not that strong of a fish. A mission handed down to her from generation to generation of previous leaders. It's the Druga Pirate. Dragonian. Dragon Blood. Lo oh, we can't. Can't look at that. Oh, we can't look at this too. Nope. What the heck is this? Oh, we can't look at this. If seen this, I think. I think we're supposed to have already seen that, I think. Or not. I think I forgot to read the... I got I read... The detective's mansion. Hey, wait. Oh wait, we cannot read this. We cannot... We haven't done that... Side story yet. Yep. Nope, nope. Alright, we're done with that. We're gonna do like three side quests first yes three or maybe since i'm just doing only one side story we do three and one blues channel but which world we were at the zombie island right we do three side quests to 22, 20, 23. Yep, and then Grand Blues Channel, and then we'll move on to the sorry, sorry. miscellaneous. Oh wait, side side quest. I do whatever. I bring Kaguya. I go to this present for Kaguya. Random. Oh well, just use this party. If we die, we die. Ano. Now, um, I have a request for you, Sky Fairies. Could you come with me into the forest? And don't mind him. He's a zombie. This is a zombie village. <laughs> Every NPC is a zombie. So don't be alarmed. <laughs> Could you come with me to into the forest? <laughs> what are you gonna do to us? A request? I guess we could, but why? No. Oh well, I just remembered that a long time ago I buried some treasure at the foot of a tree in the forest. So I kinda want to dig it up, okay. And I know monsters don't really attack us, but I'd like you guys to come with me, just in case. <laughs> the monsters don't really attack the zombies. I see. In that case, let's take the request, Amara. Yeah, it's not like I have a choice. Thanks, I really appreciate it. Well then, let's get going. 
And then we don't find it. Ba -ba -da -da. This is our party for today. Da -da -da -da. And the main character, they do what? Raise up. Okay. <laughs> oh, level 27. Oh, la la. Hmm. Let's just create this. Boost. How about we summon her early so that we can get our boost? I forget to start this too. This B B B B B B B. Our MVP today is Albert. He will carry us in the side story. Oh, don't need this. こちらサービスです。ばないこんなものか。イージーピリー。ワンチャット。安らかに眠れ。お。ど。<laughs> oh. <laughs> yes, this is it. It's buried right here at the foot of this tree. Yeah. What is it? What did you bury? All right, let's let's dig this thing up. Oh. Yes, here it is. Hey, Skyfers, this is the box. What's in the box? Will you tell us? Because there are lots of side quests, they don't tell us what's in the box. Good for you. I'm glad you could dig up your treasure. By the way, what did you put into this treasure box? No, nothing important. I'll just open it up and show you. Here, take a look. Wow, look at all the carved wooden animals. They're so cute. Uh, they're not gonna show us, right? We just wanna make us imagine. Do you make these? You're so uh, talented. Yeah, my grandpa taught me how. See this deer? Pretty well made, right? My grandpa made this one. Oh. I cannot see the deer. You don't show it. Say, while we're at it, why don't you tell your grandpa that you dug this up? Is he zombie fight too? Yeah. Unfortunately, grandpa died before Celeste. Celeste. Celeste or Celeste? I think Celeste. Celeste came. Uh, Celeste is the primal beast that turned them all t into zombies. No, oh, I see. Which means he's not around anymore, huh? <laughs> Don't look so sad. My grandpa was at peace when he died. Thanks, Guy Ferris. Thanks to you, I was able to dig up these memories I made with my grandpa. Grandpa. <laughs> Well then, I guess we should go back to the village, right, Amara? I'm going to Here's a thing. Forever beautiful. Kaguya again. Oh, do we get anything actually? Ah, uh, whatever. Thank you for the Kaguya. Hmm, the request asks for stones to be made into paint. Would this stone work? Made into paint? No. Yeah, looks just like the one they gave us as an example. So I think you should do the trick. <laughs> this is fun. Feels like a treasure hunt. Ooh, what about this one? <laughs> what? 
Hey, wait, don't go on ahead without us. It's not safe. Don't worry. Girl. <laughs> Lyria can take care of herself. She has a gun. I told you so. Get back, Lyria. Let's go, Mara. Eee. It's just a weak little monster. It's okay. We got bellowing, raising us up. Let's create this, create this, create this. That's just the deck. Go on night? Good night, is it? Hmm. <laughs> I did something good. I was easy peasy. We always breeze through. Breeze through all the battles. Cause we only focus on the story and the dialogues. Off stream, I don't... I don't read the dialogues at all. <laughs> oh, you find quite a lot, I see. This will really help. Oh, a painter zombie. Why he gonna paint? I hope it's a battle note. Okay, good, good. This should, this should last me for my next piece too. I was wondering, what kind of paintings do you make with the paint from these stones? No, I didn't tell you. I use this stuff to paint portraits of my wife. As the years go by, I want to capture her perfectly in each moment. I mean, I keep painting my wife over and over, but now that she's a zombie, she doesn't age anymore. It's kind of a shame. Hmm. Oh my, I'm perfectly happy with not aging. Now I'll be young forever. Hmm, this is a good outlook in life. Maybe I wanna be a zombie too. Hmm, <laughs> forever young and beautiful. Hmm, oh you, it's not nice to brag about my looks in front of our guests. They sure look happy together. Why don't we give the lovebirds some alone time? What do you say, Amara? Yeah, get away from here. We don't allow love in this stream. Only single people. If you brag about your love life, I'm gonna make the chat emote only. You don't deal with that. <laughs> Kaguya again. Just why not? We got lots of stuff just now, right? Ooh, let's take a little break. Thanks for helping me carry all this lumber. Oh, don't worry about it. Requests like this are no problem at all. <laughs> there are a lot more complicated requests out there, you know? Mm. Is it? Don't remember. I see, so you skyfarers are traveling the world, fulfilling requests as you go. So I've never been to another island before. I'm a little jealous. Yeah. Hmm. I wish I'd gone on at least one journey before Celeste sealed us in here. Yeah, she'd be trapping everyone. I see. That's a real shame. Oh! <laughs> girl! Surprise girl! <laughs> oh wow! Those monsters just popped out of nowhere. I'm there. Time to fight. Okay. Easy peasy. <laughs> we don't even need to create the potion, but might as well. Oh, 
こちらサービスです。We raise people up. Hey, no, this one doesn't. Does this attack though? No, it doesn't. Okay. Now we know. ただこんなものか。<laughs> Hello, and good luck getting the emotes. There is a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little bit of a little We defeated the monsters. Now let's get back to the village before more come. Why him vibrating? <laughs> Are you alright? You don't seem to be injured. <gasps> oh my, I think I was, I was just scared stiff. <laughs> um, have you Skyfarers been fighting monsters like that throughout your entire journey? Yeah, easy peasy. Well, not all of them are exactly like that, but we run into a lot in general, yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I was born in such a peaceful village. I think I'll refrain from going on any journeys. It was quick. <laughs> no, not at all. Oh my. We ought to tell him about all the fun parts of going on a journey. Right, Amara? Nah, Lyria, just leave him be. Just let him live his peaceful life. Okay, and then Grand Blue's channel. It's usually long. 17, easy peasy. We're using light, huh? Hmm. 11 sisters. Oh, we do not know that. Do we bring Lucifer or Zeus or even All Might? Nah, I'll bring Lucifer. Light, right? Oh, I don't have light. Fine, I'll change. This is my light team, very strong. The Grand Cypher crew, joined by acting captain Karen, who the hell, were walking through a dimly lit graveyard. Ika? Hello, Karen. i never seen you before. Forward, I ask. Acting, Captain. Yeah, you better know you're just acting, Captain. Shall lead this group of excellent adventurers to victory against, against these ghastly ghosts. <laughs> hmm, you don't have to tell me what to do. I can't wait to get my hands on these ghouls. <laughs> hmm, oh, I don't remember. There's no full voice acting for Grand Blues too. Aren't any of you scared of ghosts? I'm scared of them. What about you, Danua? Oh, I die. <laughs> Danua says that she is indeed scared of ghosts. <laughs> hey, if you're scared of ghosts, then why the hell did you take on this mission? <laughs> Shut up! You two bigger so much, it's enough to make a bear sick. You're a bear? Yeah, yeah. Hey, you're a cat. None of the BTTV modes. It must be the global one. It's not the showcase one. But... Too bad. Uh, how do I... What's... What's the comment? Oh, it's bingo, right? Yeah. Maybe we just. Hmm. There is no bingo running. Excuse me. A bingo has begun. It didn't say. Do I start? No, I don't want to start all over. Cancel. No. Why do I just put bingo? Why 
Why it lied to us? It didn't say stop midway. Hmm. Oh, oh cancel. I wanna try again. Cancel. <sighs> they will just spam me mods for no reason. Stop lying to us. I don't think there's a time limit. If it did, I would have extended as long as possible. <laughs> Come on guys, let's not fall out. Especially not in a place like this. We need to stick together. <laughs> my, my spirits are high tonight. <laughs> They're high. They've been smoking weed. I wonder if perhaps you have all taken this on a dare. On as a dare. Hey, this is no laughing matter, miss. Hmm, I wonder if Captain Karen will be able to keep these fools in line. What the hong for? The crew were investigating the legend of a ghost that was said to haunt this graveyard. A ghosty. <laughs> I'm gonna do it again though, yeah. Better not. Making dinner, okay. Thank you for the lurk. The self-styled oh, Captain Karen took point in the hopes that it would inspire the others into action. Keep your eyes peeled. We're getting close to where the ghost is set to appear. Oh, but you you guys are doing this during the daytime. The wind rustled through the trees, causing the shadows to shift. Karen jumped up in fright. <laughs> G -g -g ghost What the hell? Karen immediately grabbed the hold of fairy. <gasps> oh, it's a rabbit. It's a cute rabbit though. I like your green. Boy, we killed so many of these already. <laughs> um, Karen, take another look. It's just a cute little bunny. <laughs> You're right, it's just a bunny. I knew that. What kind of captain mistakes a bunny for a ghost? What happened to me? Where am I? Guess I'm going to sleep while they were doing all this investigation. This kind of acting, cap this kind of acting, captain does. Ghosts really scare me, but it's my duty to protect my crew, and it's your duty to protect me. <laughs> At least she's honest. So I expect you to protect me if any ghosts come out and frighten me. <laughs> oh, oh well, <laughs> of course. She finds ghosts scary, but I'm okay. I don't get this girl. <laughs> now, I had better start protecting you guys, you know? Lead by example. <laughs> Karen, you're so cool. I'm gonna be just like you one day. Oh. <laughs> In fact, I feel like getting started right now. Anna, Danwa, don't worry. I'm going to protect you. <laughs> you are? I, I really don't get what's going on here. <laughs> mm -hmm. Danwa would also like to protect Anna. <laughs> <laughs> I guess Danwa is not the only one who needs some help every now and then. Now and then. Oh my, what an interesting relationship this group has. <laughs> she has literal ghost skeletons behind her. Karen's not afraid of that. Hi. <laughs> You're right. Karen is really bringing the crew together. Yeah, now that we're all a little more fired up, let's get out there and do this. Okay. Oh, it's night time already. The crew, headed by the in intrepid Karen, finally reached their destination. As soon as they got there, they were surrounded by a mysterious mist, which chilled the crew to their core. Oh wait, did I pin the thingy? I don't see the pin. I need to cheat. I need to cheat. 
I think I did. Let me refresh this one. Hey, what is this devilry? Is it a ghost? <laughs> devilry? Everyone, stick together. I don't want to lose anyone in the mist. As she said this, Karen grabbed Fairy's arm. <laughs> He's here! It was just a zombie. It's fun not the zombie. Oh, darn. I don't think I pinned it. Right? <laughs> Karen looked over and realized that it wasn't fairy she was clinging to, but a zombie. Did I really not pin this, huh? The panicking Karen started slashing the mist wildly with her flame enchanted sword. Oh, so she fires. Meanwhile, I do this. I don't see it pin. Stupid internet breaking everything. What's going on? Amira, we have to help Karen. Wait, after I pin. Alright. Internet, don't screw me up. Don't screw me up. Hmm, hmm, hmm. I don't need this. We'll call Lucifer at the end at the third wave. Here, have a look at Lucifer. <laughs> he has cute bunnies. Oh, that's it. Karen's flame sword cleared away the mist, allowing the crew to chase after the zombie. Wait, the ghost that has that's been attacking people must have been this zombie the whole time. What's easy peasy? Karen went for the zombie. Wait! Lady Grey stood between Karen and the zombie. What are you doing? Why are you protecting the zombie? <laughs> what did you say? Lady Grey listened intently to the zombie's groans. We can't understand. Hmm, so that's what's been going on. Lady Grey nodded along to the zombie's groaning. <laughs> Hold up, what's going on here? Can someone please explain it in a language we all actually speak? What, English? Japanese? What even the language your kids are talking in? <laughs> hmm. Dano would very much like to know why Lady Grey is protecting this monster. Oi, oi. Not just that. I don't get any of this. What the hell is going on? Ma matte. <laughs> Wait. I'm sure there's a reason for it. 
I guess it is intriguing, isn't it? Very well, I shall tell you. Once you all lower your weapons. Yare yare. Yare yare. Hmm, it looks like she's not just going crazy. Okay, everyone, put your weapons away. Ikone. Mm, thank you. Seeing that the crew had all stood down, Lady Grey began to explain the situation. According to Lady Grey, the zombie isn't attacking anyone, it's just lonely and looking for a friend. Oh, That's why, whenever it saw people in the graveyard, it would approach them and try to call out to them. Uh, to move this thing. Make sure it doesn't fall down. So this thing's groaning got twisted into the ghost story that brought us here. So nano. Exactly. He seems quite embarrassed about it. I think we should just stop talking about it, don't you? Uh... Hmm. Well, now we've heard his side to the story. Can't exactly ghost bust, can we? Ara, so nakoto. Hmm. What was that? Of course, I'm listening. Huh? What? What's he saying now? <laughs> He's saying that he'd very much like to be your friend, Karen. Uh... Hmm. Wait, what? I mean, there's no way. I I could never be friends with a thing like this. <gasps> Karen. But he's so lonely. I really worry about what will become of this poor zombie. If that's the case, why, why don't you look after the darn thing? What? I'm here too? If I'm here, why would... <laughs> A real captain would take charge. If I'm here, then why are you the acting captain, huh? What? What do you mean by that? Are you saying I'm not a real captain? Well, I'll show you. Yeah, I'm here. So people assume he was attacking when all he wanted was to make friends. Yeah, that's the gist of it. <laughs> Karen seemed taken aback by Amara's words. I am there. Hmm. Why do we need an acting captain then? Silly people. And took some time before responding. What to do? Yore yore. <laughs> yore yore. I'm not really sure what's going on, but I'm enjoying every minute of it. Ayo. <laughs> I've just had a brilliant idea. Eo's little comments seem to stir something in Karen. <laughs> okay, Karen. What is it to be? Why only Karen? Why can't everyone be friends with the zombie then? <laughs> Okay, I. Oh. <laughs> Time skip several weeks after this incident, the crew found themselves once again in the same graveyard. Several weeks. Ayo. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are normal people doing here in this <laughs> graveyard? The crew watched from the shadows as the zombie chased the young couple. <laughs> good, good. <laughs> it was scary. <laughs> it's quite different from the real thing. Karen had scouted this new zombie to be a part of a new zombie run that she had set up in the graveyard. <laughs> this new endeavor brought money in for the crew and gave the zombies the companionship they so they so sought after. Oh, money. Yeah, yeah. Good job. You're really getting the hang of it. <laughs> this no sound bite for the zombie. How are you feeling? The public seem to love you. Yatta! <laughs> Great. If you're happy, then I'm happy. Hmm. Karen, have you learned how to speak zombie? Huh? What? Oh, not exactly. But I can get the gist of what they're trying to say. Maybe the zombies can learn how to write. 
It looks like you found your calling, Karen. <laughs> A zombie captain. <gasps> this is just temporary. I haven't given up on my dreams of being an airship captain just yet. Oh, I see. But you'll never replace me. I'm the true captain. Amara seemed happy that Karen had grown so much as a person. Even though this is our first time meeting the person. <laughs> oh no, at this rate, Karen will take over the crew before long. No, I won't let her. Vern revealed his long-held worries about Amara's leadership abilities. Okay, let's... Sure, why not? Too lazy to handle all these responsibilities. <laughs> Let her take over. Hmm, maybe just one more. Because it's only one left. Why not? Just one more and then we'll finally do the side story. A light again, right? Can I call All Might? <laughs> they didn't manage to get All Might in the... In the event. Me too slow. So they doubt you as a leader? I'm not surprised. Seeing how dumbass I am. And I keep telling Lyria to summon only Belial. In a dining hall where weary skyfarers come to eat, drink and be merry. A conspicuous armored man is causing quite the commotion. Oh la la. Hmm. Not sure which kingdom is this. Is there no warrior here brave enough to accompany me? Uh. I long to satisfy my rite of passage and become a man of courage. I beseech you on my family name. Lend me your aid. In a bar? The more the man yells, however, the colder the reception from the skyfarers become. In time, he loses their attention completely. Poor dude. Into this scene enters the unknowing Amara and crew. Oh, it's us. This is our McDonald's. <laughs> well, what's going on here? There's a weird vibe in this place. Wait, is this the same place? There's a bar in this zombie town. Hmm, I don't suppose something bad happened. Ugh. Yeah, it's that guy over there. He wants to visit his family grave and he's demanding someone take him there. Oh yeah, why not just take him there then? <laughs> Don't be ridiculous. This isn't some regular grave. It's a grave on the misshrouded isle. Yeah, the misshrouded isle is the isle full of zombies. So this is somewhere else right now. Even the bravest of skyfarers wouldn't dare set foot there, but we're always there. We just know something bad would happen there. Breathing a weary sigh, Amara stands up and walks over to the armored man. Give us money and we'll take you there. The crew takes the man aboard and heads straight for the aisle. But once they set foot there... Hey Chief, what's with the suit of armor? Hmm? hmm? Is this the same man? He just got out of his armor. I will be meeting with my ancestors. They must see that I am a man of unerring courage. A man of steadfast bravery. I guess so. Wow, courage is something you can see? I don't really get it. But I can sure tell you're serious. <laughs> Say, what kind of people were your ancestors, Mr. Armor? <laughs> he doesn't tell us her, his name. Mr. Armor. <laughs> Even though he's not wearing armor? A uh, fine question. There were a distinguished family of knights that lived on this island for generations. It is said that the head family remained on the island to protect its honor, while the branch families ventured out to attain greater honor. Hmm, so wait, if you're from a branch family, does that mean you've never been to the grave before? Soda. Correct. 
to visit the burial site of a head family is a profound honor. As branch family members, it is what we desire most of all. <laughs> and shamefully, we failed to become knights. Becoming mere soldiers was as much as we could muster. We didn't grind enough. Oh no, that's not shameful at all. You look like you're a great soldier. Oh. Hey. I'm grateful to hear that. My father and grandfather alike worked as military men without tarnishing the family name. It's good. So there. I too have furthered our legacy. And that is why, even if only for a moment, I must show them the man I have become. You gonna fight the monsters? And not drag me in it? I should thank you, brave Skyfarer. You allowed me to make this dream a reality. <laughs> Save the thanks for after we get you there, Chief. Still, I think I get how determined you are now. We're getting you to your destination. No ifs, ands, or buts. Easy peasy. Ah, we're the one fighting. It's always us. It's always us. It's always us. We do the thing. An input. たら。死にたくなければ道を開けろ。まず手直してこい。after defeating the monsters on their path, Amera and company finally arrive at the grave where the man's ancestors lie. Upon seeing it, however, the crew's faces become frozen with horror. Why? <gasps> Impossible. What is the meaning of this? Someone desecrated it, is it? The grave had been left in sham shambles. The ground had been uprooted and half haphazardly dug holes. Mark the area. Hey, um, are you sure this is the place? The grave isn't somewhere else? Yeah. No, there's no mistake. The emblem engraved on this gravestone unquestionably belongs to my family. Oh. And it seems as though the grave has just been vandalized by grave diggers who just left, left it like this. Oh. Oh my god, what the hell? The soldier, already in a state of shock, then meets with an even greater trouble. In the midst of this desperate this situation, Amara draws their weapon and stands at the ready. Hey, what are you doing? Is there something out there, Amara? I don't know. <laughs> Zengi? What's going on? There are tons of them out there. Out of nowhere, an enormous horde of zombies emerges and slowly surrounds the crew. The dirty NPC zombies. Realizing the zombies were more than they could handle, Amira and company raise their weapons and try to find a way out. <laughs> At that moment, the man's voice rings out. Maybe it's his family. Right, is it? Stop, please. I don't believe I've mistaken this place for somewhere else. Oh no. 
her most respected ancestors, it is I. Please look at the valiant person I've become. I bear the honor you have bestowed upon me. He needs his ancestors. You sounded like All Might. Yeah, I summoned All Might just now. <laughs> you missed him. Well, he was using United States of Smash to defeat the zombies. Wait, what? Ancestors? Don't tell me those zombies are. Yeah, no. No, it's true. Look at those two. They're the spitting image of each other. <laughs> the same NPC face. Mm, yes, you did well to come here. Visitors are rare on this island of terror. Your courage is truly worthy of praise. <laughs> Twinsies, thank you very much. However, my branch family, we we failed to become knights and... Yes, you needn't explain. They worked hard, didn't they? Forgive your ancestors of their shame. As you can see, we too are no longer proud. The head family is in decline, but our honor lives on with you and you alone. Ah, oh. <laughs> can there be any greater joy than this? Our family may not be able to be there to see it, but our honor will live on. It's a point of honor. Hey, I'm half living. Going to take other doggies or bra back. Okay. I'm eating. <laughs> Say hi to the doggies for me. Have a nice walk. Your words are not lost on me. They mean more to me than the entire world. So, um, I'm lost right now, but boy, they sure look alike, don't they? Why is everyone lost in this side quest, huh? It's very straightforward. Hi! They really do. Probably because he worked so hard to uphold the family teachings, don't you think? Mm, I think so. Hey, wait a sec, Lyra. You're not scared anymore, are you? <laughs> not after seeing those two side by side. I wonder why. Strange, isn't it? Because they're friendly. Zambies. The mist-covered isle possesses a strange power that rules over the link between life and death. Eventually, a Mara's crew would discover the true nature of this power, but at this point in time, there was no way for them to know. <laughs> Before the ending of the uh, main quest. And here, we'll deal with that another time. We should go to the side quest now. <laughs> With a side story, I mean, no side quest. Oh, yeah. Let's hang with Lowane. Got nothing else. You just start. Three fun loving guys have returned to their old stomping grounds, a diner somewhere in Port Breeze. Ah, it's where we met them all. Lowane, Elsam, and Tomoy sit and have a nostalgic get together. Should at least, like, Take note, at 58.47, I timestamp. <laughs> it looks cute. It's orange. What's this? A bouquet of flowers? Ooh. <laughs> what are they eating? They're eating ice cream and I don't know what's that in the middle. Oh well. Opening. Let's go, bro. In days to come, he would describe this meeting as destiny. <laughs> A flashback to our first meeting, is it? Yo, here's your order. What do you think? <laughs> what do you think? Oh, wait. Let's make sure the... The voice is okay because it's full, fully voice acted. What do you think? Good, right? Take a while to really savor the flavor. 
This young man's name is Lo Wayne. He spends his days cooking and waiting tables at a small restaurant on a remote island. But in a single moment, his whole world is about to change. <laughs> I feel like the start of a rom-com movie. <laughs> You living now, miss? How was your meal? <laughs> Delicious, thank you. Although this place is rather, well, lively. Yeah. <laughs> I guess that just shows how popular we... Whoa! <laughs> Is something wrong? <laughs> now that I get a good look at this woman, <laughs> she's totally beautiful. A perfect 10. <laughs> Sorry. Oh, darn, I forgot to check. This one I forgot to do the stream. Got to check if it's synced all right. I just assume because I see it like that. Let me read and then... Uh, hey, hold on, miss. Uh, my shift ends in a couple of hours. Do you think you could come meet me then? Click. Hmm. Knees knocking. Sweat pouring down his back. Lewayne's trembling hands note down the time and place of the meeting. Click. Darn it. I think it's okay. After finishing work, Lewayne attempts to compose himself by discussing his feelings with his workmates. <laughs> For Lewayne, I'll just follow his like localization translation <laughs> just well because it's more fun i guess than to directly translate try to directly translate from japanese <laughs> so i met this girl right her name's kate cat or something anyway she's smoking hot for real, my heart totally skipped a bit. It was like love at first sight, dude. <laughs> I was like, whoa, what's up with you, Lowane? Never thought I'd hear you say something like that. Okay. Seriously, dude, like, if this girl's got Lowane crushing heart, I've gotta see her for myself. <laughs> Cat, will she really show up? Of course. She's gotta. <laughs> right. Way totally. Hmm, they really do just go through the entire flashback, huh? <laughs> Same thing as in the fate episode. Lowen and the bros arrive at the appointed place and set eyes on the woman who will have a profound effect on their future. <laughs> so shiny, Catalina. <laughs> There she is. Oi, 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 oi. Are mm -hmm. huh? Well, seriously, that's her. Magica. <laughs> Magica. Dude, she's a knight. Look at all that armor. She'd sooner kick your butt than go on a date with you. <laughs> Shut up. Just hang back here, okay, guys? Don't get in my way. We <laughs> got it. 
Oh, oh. what the hell? Oh, <sighs> the bubble. Yes. Wait, I think this is their imagination. I think at this point. Okay, here I go. I think what's about to happen will be something that didn't really happen, just in his head. Yeah, I see the difference in the dialogue now. Hey there, hope I didn't keep you waiting. Ah, Low Wayne, what do you want to talk to me about? <laughs> you see, whoa, hold up a sec. Man, that's really something. What? What's the matter? <laughs> He's trying to be smooth. It ain't nothing. I was just surprised at how beautiful the night sky looks tonight. <laughs> it certainly is a wonderful sight, but surely you get to enjoy this all the time. Okay, this didn't happen at all. We saw the fate episode, don't lie to us, Loin. Yeah, sure. But lately, it seems all the more dazzling. Can't. <laughs> okay. So corny. Okay. I think that must be because of you, Cat. What? Why am I? I'm suffering to this. Me? I'm sorry, but I don't quite understand. Just chill for a second, listen. I want to tell you my honest feelings. <laughs> I've loved you from the moment I first laid eyes on you. <laughs> what? Love? Hey. Whoa, this is uber tubular. I've never seen Loen get this far before. <laughs> For real, I'd never be able to keep it together with the same that kind of mega deep stuff, dude. Yeah. <laughs> I legit forgot her full name. But how do you know her full name? Cat. I mean, Miss Catalina Arize. Will you be mine again? <laughs> what? I'm sorry, but I'm currently on a journey. Yeah, <laughs> Yeah, I know that. But how about I join your crew? I'm a pretty good cook, you know. Katarina san, Anata no miso shiru. Ore ni tsukurase kure. And Kat, I want to be there for you every morning with a handmade bur breakfast. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Hello, Wayne, my hero. Catalina would never, would never. His imagination is going out of control. He needs to be nerfed. Lewin joins Samara and the crew in their adventures while he and Catalina embark on an adventure called Love. Yeah. No, there's no love in this dream tonight. Love doesn't win. The Empire? The island of the Astrals? For the love of a good woman, there is no hardship Lowen would not overcome. They just keep it that way. 
<laughs> we know it's fake. Should have done it this way, bro. The items are ice cream, sundaes. There is a cafe on the corner of a busy shopping street in Port Breeze. It is neither trendy nor outdated, just a nondescript cafe. The scent of weak coffee and melted butter wafts out onto the street. In a corner of this cafe, see three young. Oh, I never know how to pronounce those, you know? Do you pronounce it Eruns or Erunes? I guess they don't have that accent on E. So, Eruns. Idle chatter blooms elegantly between them like flowers reaching for the dawn. What kind of sense? <laughs> Let me make you soup for the rest of our days. <laughs> <laughs> Think she'll respond well to that? Wow, I can almost picture her melting to my tender voice. Okay. <laughs> I really like this kind of illustration. There's three dudes eating. And the focus is on the characters is talking. I think that's super wild fantasy. It's all in your head. A failure, man. Not a day, not a failure, I'm calling it. I thought it was a good plan. If you're so wise, why don't you tell me what to do, Cupid? <laughs> Cat, she's an impregnable fortress, like way out of your league, bro. If you screw it up, we'll get kicked out of the crew. Yeah, we have a good thing going on here. Hey, waiter, can we get some water? Despite being turned down by Catalina once already, Lowain and the bros have recouped and are looking to the journey ahead. A portion of the crew has taken a request on the island. In the meantime, the boys while away the hour while away the hours in their own special way. Cats or something else? Nah, it's just a nickname of a what? The Arun? All I know, they're a race of people that that have furry ears. And that's all we know about them, really. We don't really know much. There's a... There's another race in Grand Blue Fantasy World. They're always like twink. <laughs> they're not buff. They're very lean. They, and they're... Their outfit, they usually don't have like... I don't know what's the word. <laughs> you don't cover their armpits. <laughs> That's all. Loane and the boys are on standby, chilling in a cafe, waiting for Amara and the crew to return. See? I don't know if they have normal human ears too. Or do they only have the furry ears? See, the runes, their outfit, they usually don't cover their armpits, their sides, or their backs, I think. Only cover the front. Okay, I got it. Maybe I give it's a good tactic. Yeah, girls love flowers and stuff, right? Well, it, it looks like cat ears, I think, maybe. Not really sure what kind of animals. No, 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 no. That is the worst idea ever in disguise, dude. Romantic and mushy? Bro, not cool. Yeah, we don't do romance today. Or ever. You said it. <laughs> Sorry. A woman's heart is a puzzle, my friend. A riddle in a maze. 
どういうことよ<笑>ご意見箱設置 What are you on about? Maybe I should put up a suggestion board for you two in your lessons in love. Katarina san junjo da shi? Gui gui yos to hi chau yo t e i n a Cat has a delicate heart. You can't just be pulling her to and fro like bam 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 all the time, dude. Suka kishi jan. Yoroi jan. Koha ni kimatten jan. Nayotta otoko toka out of ganju. Dudes, she's a knight with armor. Tough as nails. Tough as nails, no doubt. She ain't got time for sensitive and delicate petals like us. <laughs> delicate petals. I'm for sure putting up that suggestion board. Please submit your ideas, which are obviously so much better than mine. But, 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 Well, I'm waiting. Where are all your super awesome ideas? I'm not going to get anywhere sitting around speechless like you two. So, what is it? I'm not going to be able to do it. I'm not going to be able to do it. Well, the first step is, you know, something that's more actions than words. Just not soup, okay? Do you come? <laughs> Totally. Actions speak louder than words and all that. We men gotta show that we're dependable. I can feel that, bro, but what can I do to show that? Oh, oh, oh! Big gun, k i c h a t o r e <laughs> I got it. What? <laughs> well, what? Spit it out. <laughs> Be a knight in shining armor. Like Prince Charming, you know? Cat would love that, right? <laughs> They seem to have big plan going. Yeah, they're trying to woo Catalina. Guess that's what we're doing today. Hmm? Like, so when Cat is in trouble, you're like, boom, and you rush in to save her. Help me, somebody, anybody, save me. And then she hears a horse galloping toward her. Oh, so that's the ba da ba da ba da. The sound of her savior. Hee hee! Hee hee. Totally. Ha ha ha! Umaka yo! So go, Prince Yareo! We'll need to get you a horse, bro. Can't be Prince Charming without a white stallion. <laughs> Dude, how could I ever have doubted you? I could totally imagine that happening. A knight in shining armor. Hmm. Ah, I know. This is just all in their heads. Their imagination is not real. <laughs> Back where the two lovebirds met. I can't love birds. Catalina is an unwilling party here. Catalina is waiting for Lowain when a rough looking man approaches her. If you put another T in cat, I get a Swedish word for cat. Oh, I see. <laughs> Catalina likes cute stuff, as big, so she loves cat too. Cats. <laughs> <laughs> What are you doing all alone, fair maiden? Maybe you'd like to come and see how I shine my horns. What a living! What a fun! <laughs> how many times do I have to tell you? I'm not interested. Okay, well, so. No, what the hell? I, can't, I don't want to read that. But I have to. But wait, 
Your cuteness has blinded me. I must show you the lustrous and glorious radiance of my horns. Come on, again. <laughs> what treachery is this? Let me go, beast. <laughs> what do I? What he says like it is totally different from the translation, but I'll just read the translation. Hey, yeah. Uh, but my horns are so smooth and ostentatious. Look, look, look. Oh no, one of my perfectly polished horns has scratched you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Catalina would never. She can fight. <laughs> this is how you know. This is just an imagination. Somebody, anybody, save me from this villainous fiend. <laughs> Fear not. I will save you. Oh my god. <laughs> my prince, Lowane. <laughs> Okay. He's so cringe. Release this goddess from your filthy grass, pitiful creature. What? <laughs> what a knight in shining armor. But I have to show her my breathtakingly effective horn care routine. Okay. How dare you touch this princess? Your horns are not even smooth. Release her at once before I mash you, potato punk. <laughs> Why you? You're not gallant at all. You're limp like a wet leaf. Leave this place or I'll make salad out of you, lettuce boy. <laughs> <laughs> Try it, potato punk. <laughs> Go on then, lettuce boy. <laughs> potato. <laughs> lettuce. <laughs> potato. <laughs> yeah. I'm to eat the burger. I have been eating. I just suffer in cringe. Lettuce. <laughs> potato. <laughs> lettuce. What? Potato. Why <laughs> really? I don't want to read. <laughs> Potato pong his name now. <laughs> Let us. I'm going to shred you. <laughs> Bros, activate. <laughs> Leave it to us. You're in trouble now. <laughs> Cavalry charge. <laughs> oh, my potato. <laughs> you say, God. <laughs> you was easy. Now, cat, take my hand. I'll whisk you away. Catalina, please, what have they done to you? My knight in shining armor, my prince charming. Catalina, blushing, takes Loane's hand and is pulled up onto his horse. Wait, where's the horse? Her arms wrap around him as they ride into the sunset. The sun sets over the cafe. The bros are polishing the details on Elsom's idea of how Lewin can profess his love for Catalina. <laughs> yeah, it's so mushy and romantic. Don't it just make your heart flutter? It makes me cringe. There's no girl who wouldn't fall for you in that situation, dude. Well, I'd be totally surprised if there was. 
キャタリナさんを射止めるゴールデンパーティーン発見<笑>ここはホワイトパーティーンか Anyway, this plan to make cat mine is for sure the best horse of action. I'll just wave my sword about and save the princess. <laughs> Hawaii to patin te nanka hiwai na? <laughs> wave your sword about sounds funny. Nani ga na? Tsuka, kokyo no pate a meru baka. What are you on about, you goon? You can't say that in public. <laughs> can't it? So, the prince, to kini na to tan da gedo. Right then, Prince Charming. I just have one little worry. What is it? Go ahead, bro. Sebaka. Huto mot tan da gedo. Katarina san. Jibun de tao sen jane? Ima yaro. You know, the plan relies on you saving Cat from that potato punk guy. What if she deals with him herself before you get there? Atsuka, Atsuka. Huh? Katarina san, Taite no t s tao se ne ka? Prince? Delmak? Anno? I mean, it's totes likely, bro. She splattered lots of dudes. She does it all the time. So, like, where does the prince bit fit in? Huh? <laughs> That's deep, man. Real deep. <laughs> okay, then let's. Wait. Huh? I don't understand. Can you explain it again? Oh my god, we just doing idiotic cycle today. I mean, sorry, sorry. You guys are idiots, man. The answer is simple. Ah, Katarina san yoga tsuyoi teke. So you know, you should probably come as a neto. Kyun kyun sase ram ne te koto. We find a dude stronger than Cat, and then Operation White Stallion would be a go. She'd fall for you instantly. Ah? Ma, ichire akke do. It's a good idea in principle. But where would we. You know, now that I think about it. A <laughs> major problem. <laughs> oh man, we're such dunces. I didn't think of this thing earlier, bummer dudes. We're all dumbasses here, it's okay. <laughs> Word. I mean, what sort of enemy is stronger than cat? A mega vicious monster? Or maybe an uber gross primal beast? <laughs> Horns. Horns are a must have. Pointy, stabby ends. Demonic looking. Totally vicious. <laughs> oh. I think these dudes, they don't know a cat doesn't like bugs. Maybe they can work their plan around bugs, saving her from gross bugs. Okay, I better not give them ideas. I think a big snake do the trick for me. I've hated this long slithery pest since I was a kid. Totes gross. Gachi de egui, tsuno, heavy car. Dudes, they're both mucho scary. Horns and snakes. <laughs> it's always at this scene again. Keeps on changing every time. Back where the two lovebirds met, Catalina is waiting for Lawain when a rough looking man approaches her. But <laughs> my horse. <laughs> what a persistent jerk. Is 
So where is that Lewin? He mentioned having to take care of something first, but... <laughs> Icky yucky monster, he's grrrr! <laughs> Why in the skies is there a monster in the middle of town? Icky yucky monster, he... <laughs> <laughs> ah, it's just too big and icky and yucky. I can't defeat it alone. <laughs> Fear not, I will save you. Loain, don't come don't come over here. It's too dangerous. Run. <laughs> That's my line. No step back, cat. <laughs> no, no. What? This is no ordinary monster? Do you really mean what you say? Of course. I said that one day I'd lay my life down to protect yours, and I I like to keep that promise, my princess, again. <laughs> but why? <laughs> Shall we talk after I've slain this foul beast, fair maiden? <laughs> I understand the way. I'll leave this to you. <laughs> so, so, you are the vile fiend that has sought to lay hands on my fair cat? <laughs> Iki yaki monster go, he's in girl. <laughs> You think you can stand in the way of Cupid's arrow? It'll take more than the likes of you to stop the power of my love. Bring it! Ikiyaki wants it. <gasps> no more epic song. <laughs> Lowin, who has been brought down with a single blow, rolls around on the ground groaning while Catalina looks on skeptically. What? He lost in his own imagination? Dang, it's long loading. Old school, see? <laughs> Reload? <laughs> Dang, Lowen fucked that up. He fucked that up, then I have to get out of there? Hey yo, where is it again? We're in the middle of here. Ugh. <laughs> the cafe is lit by the soft glow of lanterns. Loane is pointing out flaws in Tomoe's plan of how to profess love to Catalina. Dude, that sounds way too far or scary for me. <laughs> well, if you're gonna be a naysayer and a dumbass, what do you think we should do? <laughs> Are you for real? It's crazy to send him out there to be splattered into Lewain's smoothie instantly, right? Yeah, maybe we need to think a bit more real life, you know? Totally 
cat must have some sort of monster she doesn't like that I can deal with. But I can't think of a single one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So cool. No, no, no. It's obvious, bro. She just doesn't have a weakness. Dude, we need to think outside the box. Maybe like a fox attack. Or a knife squid with spider legs? <laughs> You're both useless. Can you try and think of a sensible plan for once? <laughs> Oh. oh man, I thought my idea was gnarly, but you know, don't hate, congratulate. Yeah. <laughs> no way, bro. My like it wasn't great, commiserate. <laughs> How about it's fate, commiserate? Get a date, commiserate. Oops, darn. I almost knocked my phone down. Whoa, I totally just got hit with a flash of inspiration, bros. Whoa, whoa, what? Tell me, I'm listening. Hi, three, two, one. <laughs> Dude, let's get it on. Three, two, one, planning time. <laughs> what about, you know, like protecting a woman from getting hurt and stuff is super cool, right? But. Oh, oh, oh! Mushiro Kokak time, Suisho? Uh, yeah? Are you saying maybe the opposite would work too? What are you talking about, dude? Getting my butt kicked is my big chance? <laughs> Love drew <Drew's> sympathy. <laughs> Loain, having suffered a devastating injury, is being cradled by Catalina. His head in her lap, she calls out to him desperately. Loain, <laughs> are you okay? I'm here, hold on. <laughs> I slipped up. <laughs> <laughs> I told you to run. Why did you? Why did you try and face that ikiyaki monster alone? <laughs> ikiyaki. <laughs> I told you before. I promised I'd lay down my life for you. <laughs> you did it to protect me? Skida. <laughs> Catalina Arize, the day fate brought us together was the day my life changed. I raise my glass to you. Cheers. <laughs> All this time, you. <laughs> I'm suffering. <laughs> oh, Lil Wayne. I... You too. <laughs> and I don't hear a, a... A clear and succinct love. In Japanese. So... <laughs> 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 Oh my gosh, is this a joke? Open your eyes, Louine! She don't die! Oh my gosh! She don't die, Louine! Louine, 
unfortunately, is dead. But the love and courage he showed that day would stay with Catalina for eternity. Probably. Bye, Loane. Rest in pieces. Oh, we're fighting? I don't know. Inside story, we don't... Water gonna bring summer belly over this. Oh, should I use as another one? Right? I will see if we die here. Water. Hmm. Uh, I don't want to do whatever. Lah. Why is my AP only 11? I didn't play today, I think. Did I? I don't think so. The cafe is nearing closing time for the day when the bros are revisit revisiting the love confession plan in which Loane dies over enthusiastically. <laughs> ah, let it settle. Let me move my booty to where y'all hurts. Today is not me in tip top shape, body wise, physically wise. What? That doesn't count. She can't fall for me if I'm dead. Dude, you totally can. I think even I'm falling for you. No, don't die, Lowain! <laughs> <laughs> That's it. You're just gonna have to kick the bucket. And then, sorry, bros. I'll see ya on the other side. My love for cat, eternal. Yeah, finally. Operation White Stallion will be a success. Isn't it right? <laughs> Isn't it right, Sammy? <laughs> Why you've got your head on the table like that, Sammy? You sleepy? You eepy boy? No, it's not that. <laughs> mm, Sammy? Huh? Hey. What? You're crying? No, I'm not. Yeah, you are. You can't hide those tears. What's up, bro? Oh. It's just. Lowing dying. <laughs> <laughs> really? It's not really gonna happen, you know? We're just talking make-believe, dude. Oh, <laughs> 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 you jerk, I care. <laughs> jerk. <laughs> I get it, I get it. I'm sorry, bro. So anyway, let's get something warm to drink. Oh my gosh. Ah, let him grieve. Oh, in the dead. Okay, okay, you can stop now. My bad. I didn't realize you get all teary eyed over it. Nah, I know, is he also crying really, man? Turn off the waterworks already. Come on, Sammy. Oh no. You're gonna set me off too, I can't. He's crying over ice cream. I can't. Me too, I cannot too. I physically cannot. <laughs> this is a story. 
feel like I regret clicking on this. Damn it. Omera. Dudes. Omera. I never knew you two were so in touch with your emotion. <laughs> no tears over me allowed. Maybe my joke went a little too far. Plus, there's an easy way to beat that scrambled up snake monster. Huh? <laughs> huh? But I thought the whole point was that you couldn't beat it. Got angry fast. <laughs> Toads man, you think you're some kind of superhero or something, Loane? You're angry now. You dudes need to just trust a bro. Hope you're ready for this. Huh, listen. So after I get hit. Ding 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 ding. Loane, having suffered a devastating injury, is being cradled by Catalina. His head in her lap, she calls out to him desperately. Loane, are you okay? I'm here, hold on. Wait, he said doorstep. I thought. She asked for the reason why. Why are you so reckless? I told you before, I promise I lay down my life for you. <laughs> he said I like <laughs> He said he said I like you. I like you, Catalina Arize. The day fate brought us together was the day my life changed. I raised my glassy. Cheers. Oh. Yep. You. <laughs> Cheers. Hi, Kampai Itarai Chai Master. Cheers to us. Yeah. Tonight, we're sending out a special song for all of you listeners in the sky out there. What the heck? Oh my god. Is he gonna sing a song or what? Are you ready? Team Loane featuring Amira in the mix. All together now. Tonight, it's fate. Well, I'm your knight, ooh, a knight. I can also be your prince, prince charming. And it's true that for you, I'm falling in love. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I have to read the translation. <laughs> Flying high with the captain, high high in the sky, giving monsters a slapping, bye bye your end is nigh, let's soar everybody. So ready, high, three, two, one. And that's all we got for you folks, ready bros, the three, two, one. Way, dude. He suddenly becomes a band. Oh. Oh yeah, because we're fighting. Oh, it's not so bad. Level 16. Eh, I can do it. Let's <laughs> just, just in case. Oh. Is it easy peasy? Yeah, 
Back from bird. Welcome back, Amber. You miss um Lois being dead. He died in his own imagination, and everyone cried. Should have done it this way, bro. So they changed the story. That in the end they'll sing a song instead, instead of dying. Lowen and the bros come up with a way to defeat the monster and breathe a sigh of relief. What? They defeated the monster by... By singing? <laughs> he depended on us to fight the monster instead. Phew, it's down. That's our captain for you. You know, I totally feel safe with you guys. I knew we were gonna crush that monster, a hundred percent. A monster that you guys made up. Respect for Maji. Respect. Hey, Loen, you finished being a jerk now? You know, saying you're gonna selfishly die on us. My bad. I think you're right. Biting the dust in front of Cat ain't gonna work. That's the kind of thing a wolf might do. <laughs> Besides, we swore to be bros until death do us part. <laughs> he was crying. You bringing that old thing up again? <laughs> what old <old> thing? <laughs> Beats me. <laughs> Beats us. <laughs> Totally, I guess. It hardly seems like the bros will find a solution anytime soon. But that does not deter them from chatting light into the night. Hey, just talk, talk, talk. A guide to love. Okay, let them guide us. What is this actually? Sky high fries. Oh, they're eating potato fries. When is, when is, yeah, I'll take fries with that. Let's nosh on these all that dudes. <laughs> They're eating potato fries. I want to eat potato fries too. Yum yum. Oh. Lowen and the bros are at <laughs> are at their favorite cafe. The next day is it? Wait now. This music. Filling the air with trivial conversation. And waiting for the crackling to stop. Dang. Okay. Tomoy has brought a magazine or of some kind and is asking the other two questions from it. Last question. Time for the final question. Imagine going on your first date with a girl you like. Where would you go? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> Gotta be goose day, those islands, sun, sea and sand, baby. <laughs> the beach? You like to be bald, huh? Unlike Tommy here. <laughs> hey, shut up, dude. You don't get it. If you play things safe, you won't get anywhere with the lucky girl. Me, I wanna get to know her. 
<laughs> Listen to him lecturing us. I'm not lecturing, I'm just passionate about it, you know? Anyway, what about you, Sammy? Your ideal first date. Mm, I guess like shopping in town. Oh my god. <laughs> Picking out some clothes together or something. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Swiss 1202. Have you have a nice day. Let's put the song back on. <laughs> what kind of boring that would that be? You won't get anywhere like that, dude. <laughs> and now it's time for the results. Alright, Loen, your ideal girlfriend is... The cheerful and easygoing friend turned girlfriend. A comfortable romance developing from a long standing friendship suits you. That's what it says. <laughs> That's like the total opposite of Catalina, dude. <laughs> You're not meant to take this thing seriously, stupid. Nobody can figure us out with a few questions, dude. Hey, don't lock me in with you. Anyway, for awesome. <laughs> What's this legendary older woman? That's what I want to know. But if she's legendary, she's got to be quite the respectable woman. Like an old lady? What? No, it means a mature woman with a great job who can take care of you and stuff. Something like that. Trying to make sense of that thing is hopeless. Where did the magazine come from anyway, Tommy? <laughs> hey, where? I don't know. Dano, he's found it on the bookshelf over there. It's called The Guide to Love. <laughs> it's a bunch of garbage, dude. It's not going to help you get a girlfriend. Love's not something you can study for. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Looks like it's time for another lecture, huh? Okay, Professor, tell us what it takes to be popular. <laughs> when the time is right. Tsuka. <laughs> <laughs> What's that supposed to mean? Come on, dude. We're your buddies. Wait, you have no idea what you're talking about, do you? Hey, can't we just have Dumbass conversations with these dudes. Like, you doubt me? I can't impart Lil Wayne's love coaching to just anyone, you know? <laughs> Fine, I'll pay you then. How much rupee, huh? You can't buy love, dude. 
And there it is, the classic bluff. Maybe I should be the one coaching you. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. Hey, hey, hey. I have some good news for anyone feeling a little unpopular. For this month's issue of Guide to Love, they've asked a hundred skyfaring women to list the top three qualities they look for in their ideal man. Baratiri, baratiri, baratiri. That's the top three qualities. <laughs> Skyfaring women? A hundred of them revealing their secrets? Isn't that kind of awesome? Yeah, but this magazine looks totally dodgy. Right? I wonder if they actually asked all these women. Hey, give it back. <laughs> you guys were totally dissing it just now. <laughs> Tomoe, my brother, I was wrong. <laughs> Tomoe, my brother, I was just embarrassed. <laughs> Alright, number three on the list. <laughs> will be revealed in a special love quiz. A quiz, dummies. I guess the three items on the list sort of thing. You're the ones claiming to be some love coaching master and disciple, right? Oh? <laughs> mm, fine, I hope you're ready for this. I'll show you what I'm made of. Mm, I'm nobody's disciple. I'm gonna win this. And then I'll be the master. Whatever. Anyway, starting from number three. With their pride on the line, both men demonstrate their own rela relationship philosophy in the unexpected quiz. Oh, am I gonna have to <laughs> insert a quiz? No, they're having trouble loading. Don't tell me I need to reload again. Or does it really take a while to to load for this side story? Give it a bit more time before I press the reload button. Hmm. Reload? Nani? I have to go here every time? wonder what's wrong. Why doesn't they want to load properly? The setting sun shines into the cafe as Loane and Elsom compete in the love quiz. Faces grimly, grimly serious. Ah, got it. Wait, actually, no. Hmm, number three is tricky, huh? <laughs> Come on, you can't think about this all day. 
Give me your answer, dude. Cooking. They can't say no to a man who can cook, right? <laughs> Wrong. It certainly helps, but no. The clue is in the sky-faring women part. Hmm. Surely you can think of things more important to skyfarers? Hi. I know, being able to fly. What? How many men have you seen that have you seen that can fly? Come on, it's something more psychological. <laughs> A good personality. <laughs> Too vague. It wouldn't be much of a quiz if there was on a list. <laughs> Mentally stable? <laughs> Seriously, dude? That's your answer? Mm. Hang on. It's just on the tip of my tongue. <laughs> yeah, me too. You two are hopeless, alright? The correct answer is... Decisiveness. Skyfaring women appreciate a man who can make a quick decision in a life or death situation, it says. <laughs> what kind of answer is that? It's still obvious, man. <laughs> right? In fact, it was one of the first thing I thought of. It's like one of the fundamentals, man. Then why didn't you just say it? We're basically skyfarers, right? And we'd be pretty useless if we couldn't make up our own minds. Hmm, decisiveness, huh? Now that I think about it. Yeah, decisiveness. And now I'm reimagining now. <laughs> We're at the Auguste Island. Somewhere on the Auguste Isles, a new couple is enjoying a brief vacation. Ruin them. <sighs> I'm glad there are some free. Are you are you one of the couple? I'm just so tired after all that swimming. <laughs> oh no, it's them both. Man, <laughs> yeah. Totally. Man, I'm starving. Why don't we order something? Here's the menu. <laughs> Thank you. Everything looks delicious. Hmm. I think I'll have some of this first. Hmm. Wait. Maybe some of this might be better instead. Although... Mm. I'm sorry, just can't seem to make up my mind. Would you mind ordering for me? Mm. I don't want to eat that too. No problem. How about squid stuffed with rice? You can't go wrong with seafood at the beach. And 
and then some salted grilled chicken. After sweating out there in the sun, I bet we could use something salty. And let's have a strawberry snow cone after dessert. Eating it after something salty will really bring out the sweetness. <laughs> yes, let's go with that. What a decisive man. <laughs> Catalina, I know they ruined you. As Loewen demonstrates his decisiveness in de decisiveness in choosing food. Catalina feels her pulse quicken and she gently clasps her hands over her chest. I can't. Dude. It's not what they meant by decisiveness. Oh, we're fighting? No. No, we only bring Summer Belial if he's there. Nope. <laughs> I bring burn boobs. Normal Belial, thank you for your Belial. Earth, right? But whatever, we use you. Maybe we change. Ah, whatever, we're so strong already. Oof. He'd be crackling. Beneath the light of the cafe's lanterns, Lowain describes his image of decisiveness. Okay, let's see. <laughs> what? Okay, we're done. Well, <laughs> Something like that, you know? <laughs> that has nothing to do with sky faring, and it's definitely not life or death, dude. <laughs> Food is totally a matter of life or death. <sighs> I really want to go to Goose Day. Yeah, I miss fishing in Goose Day. <laughs> Can you two beach brains wait until summer to think about that? We've got to talk about the next thing on the list. <laughs> Alpha Bell! <laughs> I don't know, I feel like this thing that came out like very very long ago I think Though probably not looking at the art right now Maybe it's something like a few years ago <laughs> Enough of that alpha male stuff Tommy bro You stays where it's at man <laughs> Alpha male <laughs> I guess this came out a few years ago? That something or other bonito fish thing is so tasty. What was it called again? It's called bonito, right? Ah, king of Haeshi. That's what the hint of Yarua. Sign to is so de. None to Kariokuna. You have the attention span of a gnat. Here, let me give you a hint. Like number three. It ends with ness. <laughs> Wildness. <laughs> Flyingness. <laughs> wrong and wrong, not even close. And Sammy, don't tell me you're one of those guys who wants to fly. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I think he's scarier than that. He's one of those guys hiding a dark secret. Huh? <laughs> I don't get it. All guys want to fly, don't they? <laughs> I don't get you. Anyway, time's up. 
Give me your answer. Stop teasing us. Oh, is it neighborliness? Let's do vague again. Like, learn from your past mistakes, dude. Hmm, I know. Is it powerfulness? <laughs> Wrong again. And anyway, strength goes without saying, doesn't it? Alright, game over. The correct answer is open mindedness. When your job is as tough on the heart as it is on the body, you want the comfort of an open-minded partner, it says. <laughs> open-mindedness? <laughs> I didn't even think of that. What sort of ideal guy are we even talking about anyway? Mm. The kind-hearted type, I guess. <laughs> Should have just said kind then. Nobody asked for all these long words, dude. Oh, what about all Oigen? What about him? He's personable. He doesn't sweat the details, you know? Is that open-mindedness? Sounds about right. Rakam is totally like that too. Humors you when you're selfish and stuff. Hmm, yeah, I get it. Kind, easygoing, spoils you. Yeah, poor Catalina. Oh. Lil Wayne and Catalina wait at a beach house for their food to arrive. Yeah, it's fun. <laughs> no, this is gonna be good. Can't wait. <laughs> Me too, but with so many customers in here, we might have to wait a little longer. Isn't that ours over there? Excuse me, waiter, over here. A potato punk is back. Here you are, stuffed squid and grilled chicken. Thanks. Hmm, I love the smell of fresh squid. Hmm. Shall we dig in? Wait a minute. <laughs> It's moving! The stuffed squid is still alive! How awful! Let's call the waiter and have it cooked again. What's wrong, Lowane? I thought the squid was stuffed with rice or <laughs> Cat, I think we should let this little uh, little guy go. What? What the hell? I know it's hypocritical, but now that I've met this squid, I want him to leave. So much I just thought that would be nice, you know? Okay. 
I understand, but he must be pretty weak. I'm not sure we can return him to the sea like this. <laughs> it's okay. I'll take the rice out of the squid and stuff the grilled chicken in. They'll give him the strength he needs to go on. Alright, I'll go and free him. He is. He's so kind. <laughs> and here's your dessert. Strawberry snow cone. <laughs> oh, thanks. What is this? <laughs> nah, that was a refreshing swim. Well, are those our snow cones? <laughs> yeah, but it's just a block of ice. Let's call the waiter and have them shave it properly. <laughs> it looks good digging in. <laughs> you hear that thing? <laughs> What an easygoing man! I'm sorry, I haven't eaten anything yet. Oh, of course. Want me to order another squid? Or do you want something else? Hey, Loin, can I maybe ask a favor of you? I heard a rumor that, our son, that there are some mysterious fish lurking in the waters here. They're supposed to be unbelievably tasty. Bonito for Ricardo. And so I was hoping, I was kind of hoping I might be able to. <laughs> Say no more, cat. What kind of man would I be to deny you? <laughs> Thank you. You're so open minded. Alright, I'm gonna go catch those fish and bring them right back for ya. See ya! <laughs> See ya, hippo. Wait, we're fighting. Oh. Bonito, I think we're fighting Bonito, right? Delish fish. Hey, uh. I'm gonna make him do all the way. I don't think it's hard, right? But just in case, I'm just gonna attack. Let's see how much. Hey. <laughs> 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 This didn't take long to load water. No such thing as water burial. We only have normal burial. Burial gets the good of it. The cafe is about to close as Lo Wayne describes his image of open mindedness. <laughs> Something like that, you know? So you return a squid to the sea And then you eat a block of ice If you think about it with an open mind Yes, <laughs> yes that's open-mindedness 
いよ次は1位かここ当てれば得点3倍だよな Alright, now it's time for number one. Triple points for this one, am I right? Ha 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 I told you the number one is Baratiri. <laughs> hey, don't give away the, the answer, dude. Wait, Macho? <laughs> it's a true answer. What kind of stupid number one is that? Give it here, Tomoe. I wanna see? <laughs> oh, Macho. <laughs> Demo, Nanka Koko no ji? He really does say macho. But something about the letters looks kinda weird. I bet they actually spell it baratiri. Aw, looks like another customer wrote it in themselves. They've scribbled over the real number one. Wait, what a bummer. There's no way the number one would be macho. It's just bad taste, dude. What? How dare you, Lloyd? Otoko energy? Manly energy, like showing off your muscles and stuff. Yeah, that's number one. You guys have no taste. It's totally ungentlemanly. <laughs> Gentlemanly. <laughs> right? You gotta be natural. <laughs> Natural is the opposite of macho. They're like mortal enemies. <laughs> right? Macho is like. Lowen and Catalina are at a beach house enjoying their delicious fish when they hear a scream. <laughs> It's a macho! A macho is here! What? <laughs> Damn it, this is bad! Everybody run! There's a macho here! Where the baratiri? Wait, I wanna see! Macho. What? Why is there a macho here? Loen, let's get out of here! This must be fate! <laughs> Lewain, what are you talking about? <laughs> Cat, have you ever heard of a macho hunter? I'm sorry I didn't tell you. I'm descended from a long line of macho hunters. I grew sick of it, so I turned away from the path. Throughout this dream, ever since the start, the beginning of this side story, my palm has, my forehead has been in my palm constantly. Okay. But it's no good. If I don't root out the machos from this world, no, the machos will prevail. The Baratides will win. There can never be peace. Yeah. Just face palming throughout. Loin, don't tell me you're going to fight that macho. <laughs> it's time to settle this. Awesome, Tomoe, are you ready? Soya, soya! 
You're using those macho words. Those are macho words only. Soya, soya, soya! Are we fighting sorries, Oigen? Soya! <laughs> Evil. What kind of macho are we fighting? Is it the potato punk? Oh, <laughs> that's our that's Titan. This is Salmon. You call him macho. Eh, I didn't click the text. Oh, dang it. Oh, well. Should just click attack lah. <laughs> Don't do any buff. As Lowain and Rose finish telling the tale of how they purged the world of machos. No! This is a nightmare world. We don't want to live in that world. They feel strangely satisfied. Hmm. And so the world was peaceful once more. Medetashi, medetashi. I need to move this closer to me. Aya. And they all live happily ever after. <laughs> the end. Ska, a demo demo? Design to go. Ichi, chotto kini narua. Still, doesn't it? Doesn't it make you wonder what the real number one was? No, I know. If I drip some of this juice on it, the ink might wash off. Look. <laughs> Sammy, do you genius? It's come off. Okay. 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 Let's see. L -l 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 -l. Hmm. Maybe I can guess. Uh, I don't know. Okay. Okay. Likeable. E. 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 K. Oh, I know. Loyal. So. So. So, <laughs> ah, it's loaded. Loaded? Oh, hi, 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 hi. Oh, 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 figures. So they want a decisive, open-minded. <laughs> Rich dude. Real. Oh, of course they do. <laughs> I like the macho. Better, macho answer better. They leave the magazine on the bookshelf, continuing their silly conversation late into the night. It do be silly. Spending the day with these silly people. <laughs> We're living the good old days. At least we get potato fries. Wanna eat potato fries? Yummy. Today, the bros are at the same old cafe, exchanging trivial banter. Oh, this is the third day. This time, they are performing impersonations of the crew members. Senpai, yori wa jibun ga tsukurasu. Catalina, I'll make the food for you all by myself. I love a gadi ojane. I'm pretending to be no girl. Senpai, koko wa jibun ni makaseru su. Chou ikki tousen su. This Catalina, leave it to me, the super mighty warrior. Eru chi toire nagai na. Masaka taichou demo wari in jane. Shinpai da wa. Sammy's been in the toilet a while. I wonder if he's feeling alright. I'm getting kinda worried about the dude. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're 
Who, who is this here impersonating? No, my mask is controlling me. I must drink his juice while he's gone. Seox? <laughs> no, no. Oh, man, these toilets are crazy. The locks are like totally broken and stuff. <laughs> Is he impersonating Farah, I think? That's awful, Katerina. I mend the locks all by myself. <laughs> the the curve, yo, the toilet looks broken. I ain't even joking. It ain't no use of poking, cause that toilet door is poken, yo. Huh? <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> I'm glad I'm just doing one side story today. <laughs> I cannot handle this. Yeah, the next side story will be another day, and it'll be... I think I can do the next, um, Loane's side story. More silliness. Okay. Oh, um, what? Anyway, it's cool. I already told the owner and all. I see. Then let's go pick mushrooms together. <laughs> Catalina. Who's Catalina in this trio? Nice. <laughs> Catalina, I can do everything. I'm a super mighty warrior. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, I forgot to drop that one. Wait, uh, I didn't know she was sleeping here. And this one should be on. <laughs> Lowain, bro, don't tell me that's a Farah, Farah impersonation. <laughs> you got it. What do you think of my fawning junior officer impersonation skills? Fawning junior officer skills? <laughs> You just don't get it, do you, man? Cat and Farah, they're all buddy buddy, right? <laughs> so I've been practicing her. I think I got like her whole worship the superior thing down in the last few minutes. See? <laughs> That's just weird, dude. Like you with her personality and stuff. Totally. So, what was yours, to Tommy? I think Tommy did several characters at once. <laughs> you don't get it? Nah, needs work, dude. But anyway, Farah's worship the superior thing is kind of like her charm, right? Huh? <laughs> was this, was this a new theory? Can't explain it exactly, but like she's got the whole idolizing cat thing about her down perfect. Seriously, dudes. I guess if you spend your youthful days together, you get to have a special relationship. <laughs> Even if you practice your idolizing now, Lawain, she's not gonna fall for you at this point, dude. Bummer. Smart thinking, Sammy. She's gonna be gonna be eh, she's gonna be on best terms with the dudes and dudettes from her 
hometown. Magica! Seriously? Oh man, and I thought I was I was on the right track there and all. Well what exactly is their junior senior relationship anyway? Uh And do you reckon they train at Pomeran School? Dude, you mean the Albion Military Academy? But they're different ages, so I guess they know each other from their time in the Imperial Army. Oh yeah? Bummer. Those two have like always been together. Oh no, don't tell me you're going to imagine him in a school with her. I got it man. So I gotta be in the same school as her. So like she can be my mentor. School man, those were the days. If I went to the same school as Kat, I could spend my youthful days with her. Him forgetting about Vera. <laughs> with Catalina. Oh no. In Albion Citadel, there is a prestigious military academy famous for turning out talented young knights. In town, a young man is pushing through the crowds in a hurry. <sighs> we finally see the school. <laughs> Did I make it in time? It'd be like totally uncool if I was late on my first day at a new school. Hey, what's the big idea, man? <laughs> Same to you. What kind of person just plows through a crowded area like that? <laughs> this isn't a time for petty bickering. Take care next time. I'm off. That's totally unfair. I'm just as late as you, man. What's that? Something shiny's fallen on the ground. Fallen on the ground under the bridge. Ding. <laughs> the school bell rings. So all the punks are just called Potato Punk. Silence. Today, I'm introducing the new transfer student to you all. Get up here, Luwain. I bet he's not wearing like... Yeah, he's not wearing a uniform like that. <laughs> you chill, Teach. Your dudes, I'm Luwain. Hey, who we'll gave you permission to speak? Showing up late for your first day as well. Rather impudent, aren't we, boy? Catalina? Hi. <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> You're that guy from. Huh? Oh, Hmm. What is it, Catalina? Do you know this transfer student? Oh, yeah. 
Uncle. Hmm, well, I wouldn't say I know him, but. Katarina-kun, I'm going to go to the school. Katarina, as the student council president, you show him around. Oh, I understand. Yes, sir. But actually, you see, I. Nani ka mondai demo? Kounai no master key o motte iru no wa. Seito kaicho no kimi shika inai daro. What a hog! You have a problem with that? As the student head, you're the only one who has the school's master key, right? What? Sore ga. Jutsu wa. About that, I. Jo, seito kaicho sa. Excuse me, Miss Student Council President. Lowen shows her a glimpse of the key he picked up at a place they had met earlier. That's moving my leg. Ah, hurts. What is it? Do you have some excuse for not being able to show him around? Oh yeah, I'm fine. No problem. No, it's fine, sir. There's no problem. <laughs> the pleasure is all mine. Oh no. Oh no. Hi, <laughs> Lowen. After their unconventional encounter. The youthful days of Lowen and Catalina are spent together in a whirlwind romance. Not. <laughs> Hell no. The afternoon sunlight floods in through the shutters as Lowen narrates his fantasy high school days in Albion. And after that, well dudes, Kat thanks me and we end up having lunch together. <laughs> the overly formal student president having lunch with the upstart new boy. Just wait till you, just wait till you, you hear the ruckus this causes. <laughs> Lo Wayne, the wild new transfer student. I knew it'd come up with something like this. <laughs> the sweet romance between the bookish student head and the flashy transfer student? Dude, it's like opposites totally attract. What the <laughs> You don't get it. <laughs> You don't get it, Tommy. I don't I don't think I know how to pronounce that. I don't love ain't sweet. It's bittersweet, man. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about, but I'm uber jealous, dude. <laughs> Sounds kinda dumb. I mean, the student president, why would you guys even get together? Hibiki? Sanctuary taking a hibiki? Somo somo. Seto kaicho te nani? Is this like one of those, you know, stories where she leaves the dude to join the army? And what is a student president anyway? Amma shirane ke do. Mukashi, Katarina san ga yatte dan do te. Yeah, I don't really get it, but Kat said that's what she used to be before. It's like the head of the student council? Yeah, 
Sounds kinda neat, but leader of the whole council? Man, that's like being the captain or something. Way out of your league. <laughs> Way out of his league. <laughs> well, that's the kind of stuff she did, I guess. Looking after other students, teaching Farah the sword and all. <laughs> Sounds like a pain. <laughs> well, it's my fantasy. I bet that's how it was. <laughs> Man, I'd love to see her fawn over me like that. What? <laughs> it's album's time for imagination. <laughs> As the bell rings signaling the end of school, the students prepare to head home on their separate routes. One of the hall monitors calls out to a delinquent student. <laughs> Alfam, wait one moment. You haven't handed in your homework again. <sighs> it's his <laughs> imagination. <laughs> oh man, yeah, yeah, tomorrow, tomorrow. <laughs> That's unacceptable. You go home after you've done it. Do you want to be a dropout? <laughs> Nah, that'd be a downer, but like, today's not possible, you know? Mm. Think about how embarrassing it is for the people who have to collect homework by the teacher. Accept it. You're not going home today without finishing it. I swear on my title of Hall Monitor. <laughs> Cut it out, you two. What's the problem? <laughs> oh, senpai. Oh, senpai. Just listen. Elsom hasn't done his homework. <laughs> His homework? Elsom, why is this? <laughs> Doesn't matter. It's none of your business, Miss Nudie Student President. <laughs> well, what kind of attitude is that? You're asking to be punished. It's alright, Farah. Elson, there's some problem you're not telling us. If you let me, I can help. <laughs> He's been, <laughs> been doing his own fantasy again. <laughs> I said it's fine already. See you tomorrow. <laughs> you can't with Elson. <laughs> How dare you! Don't run away! <laughs> Forget him, Katarina. Let him get expelled if he wants. As the student council president, Katarina is concerned about Elsom's attitude and decides to go after him. Did I lose him? Could have sworn he went this way. And that's... <laughs> Way. Have you been a good kitty? Oh, do we get to see the kitty cat? Yay, it's Rivera. <laughs> Disguised as an abandoned cat. Lord Rivera. Meow. <laughs> Oh, 
Here you go. Today's Dindins. Yes, mono bakka de wari kedo. Ashita wa baito no kyuryo bi da shi. Pane umai no katte kuru wa. Sorry, it's all like cheap stuff. I get my pay for my part time job tomorrow. So I'll buy you some totally tasty grub next time. Stenemo? Esanai no tame ni baito mo? An abandoned cat? So he's been working in his spare time to pay for its food. <laughs> Little bear. Meow. <laughs> <laughs> kid. 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 Stop it, that tickles, little dude. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Face palm moment. <laughs> Elsa. Oh, uh, Lord. Oh. Oh, Bella can't help us. <laughs> Staring silently at Elsom's carefree smile, Catalina is surprised at how envious she feels of the cat in that moment. <laughs> can't. I can't. I still haven't finished chapter 3. We have to go through 6 chapter of this face palming moment. <laughs> The pain I feel. <laughs> the cafe is lit by the soft glow of lamps. Lorraine and Elsom are bickering in a lively fashion. <laughs> Hold it right there, Sammy. She's my student council president, dude. <laughs> Ah, oh, come on, like, can I have a fantasy now and then again? I love cat too, man. <laughs> Alright, dude, I see how it is. You can have Farah then. I permit it. Make the most of it now, you hear? Dude, dude, are you like her father or something now? You can't just delegate like that. <laughs> you, if you ask me, you guys sound like a married couple. Just listen to you bros. Like a couple of banterlope. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, bro, even if it ain't Sammy, you've gotta admit that having a love rival makes it all the more realistic. <laughs> I mean, this is Cat we're talking about. Everyone's gonna be fighting over her, right? Not just the likes of you dudes. Oh no, we're fighting Vera too. What's that supposed to mean? The likes of us dudes? We're the wild transfer student and the kind hearted delinquent. <laughs> it's also included in the fantasy. <laughs> Yeah, if ordinary guys like knew we were after her and stuff, they'd totally back off straight away. Hey, what's with that confidence? You're acting like it's kindergarten or something. Oh, he didn't say anything. Listen up, boys. A true rival is something like this, and it's his turn. In a dorm, in a dorm in the Albion Academy, Catalina and Farah are living through all the cookbooks they can find. <laughs> this looks like the place where. <laughs> hey y'all, the mansion that we went in Detective Farah's side story. Hmm, 
This one seems a little too gourmet. We'd never be able to afford it with the budget. You're right. It's certainly an unreasonable demand. Demand. Asking the student council to host and organize the guest party. Even though it's the established custom, our budget's so low this year. The teachers just don't get it. You shouldn't say that. It's our job to find a way, a way around things like that. <laughs> wow, Catalina, you're so clear thinking. You're right. I'll search for more cookbooks. As long as Catalina don't cook. Mm, but she has a point. How are we going to manage this? <laughs> Yo, Cat, what's up? So Farah in a bit of a rush just now. You got problems with the party prep or something? What the hell? <laughs> Mr. Tomoy? Is Tomoy not a student? In his fantasy? Okay. Oh my god, sauce. Extra sauce, Tomoy. Can we? Okay. Oh, Mr. Tomoy, sir. Well, yes. I'm afraid our budget is a little tight this year. So, <laughs> Okay, with that pose. Thought that might be it. Well, I'll just have to help you out then. So he is a staff member, okay? But sir, isn't it against the regulations for staff members to help? <laughs> yeah, you're right. Okay, let's do this then, Miss Cat. <laughs> From this day forth, I proclaim us two officially buddies. So let me help you out personally, okay? Of course, this is our secret. Oh my god. Tommy, Tommy is so sus. <laughs> Sir, is this your true self? I can't. It's so cringe. <laughs> and if it is, cat, stop it. Stop. No. No. <laughs> you ruined my cat. Is this? <laughs> Sir, thank you so much. Well, then, if you'd care to help with this. Catalina would find in Tomoe a gentle and understanding nature, not found in her peers, something that could blossom further, will not, sh should not be a thing. Should not. We do not. Tommy uses water. We need, we need Belial. We don't have Belial. We need Belial. Belial, please help. Oh lord. Again. It draws close to the cafe's closing time. Loen and Elsom continue to bicker, now with Tomoe also. Ayah. Audio, please. Even the audio is cringing. Screeching at their fantasies. There's <laughs> That's unfair, man. How come you're a teacher, huh? That's like against the rules. <laughs> totally. We said lots of things, but the translation is only totally. And I don't know what he said. Totally. 
so unfair, I think. <laughs> like I said, rivals come in all shapes and sizes. Deal with it, dudes. What the heck? There's nothing to do with it. I'm gonna become the student council vice president. Hmm, ha, so am I. That seat next to Cat is mine. <laughs> me too, me too. <laughs> I thought you were a teacher. <laughs> Better get ready for the student council election, Sammy. No matter what tricks you try, wild transfer students gonna beat you. <laughs> <laughs> Don't be stupid. I'm the kind-hearted delinquent, you know? My victory is, like, assured and all, dude. <laughs> nah, it was a mistake making myself a teach. <laughs> anyway... What's with this student council election anyway? You don't know, dude? It's a vote to pick the new roles, you know? I know that, but Cat's like already the president, right? Why would they host a separate poll for the vice press? Hmm, yeah, I guess they would usually be elected together. I could just be like elected an honorary member or something like that. <laughs> something then. <laughs> what the heck is that? You're just after cat, dude. That's just like lame and underhanded. I demand a recourse election. It's <laughs> <laughs> called a recall election, idiot. So you trump the current vice press in the re election and. Wait. <laughs> Someone who is after Cat. And has the credentials to be the student council vice president. Maybe this is when Vera <laughs> comes in. Vera <laughs> 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 If we try to knock her out of the out of the election, she'll knock us out like literally. <laughs> Going to fantasize this too. On the student council's or orders, Lowain's gang has been dragged out from its haunt in town and is greeted by a female student. <laughs> <laughs> Good evening. I'm the vice president of the student council, Vera Lili. Lili? Lilie? <laughs> Are you scared? <laughs> Yo, what's up? So, yeah. What did you want us for? <laughs> Well, it's nothing major. I'd just like to talk with you guys about something. Talk with us? Okay, <laughs> doesn't matter here. Um, Vera, you do realize I'm a teacher and all here. It doesn't matter to Vera. Of course, and thank you so much for consenting to this. 
このアルビオンには生徒の鍛錬のため町に魔物を放っています。As you are no doubt aware, in order to train our students here in Albion, we release monsters into the streets to roam freely. Some of the people who are in the street are in the street, and the student council plays a leading role in selecting and distributing the creatures in question. I'm going to tell you that the student council plays a leading role in selecting and distributing the creatures in question. I'm going to tell you that the student council plays a leading role in selecting and distributing the creatures in question. I'm going to tell you that the student council plays a leading role in selecting and distributing the creatures in question. Unfortunately, due to a, to a regrettable error on my part the other day, I seem to have accidentally let out an unwanted species. Accordingly, I'd like to request you three to take care of things. <laughs> But wouldn't it be like so much faster if you took them on directly, Vera? Da, da <laughs> yeah, what he said. <laughs> um, has everyone forgotten I'm like supposed to be a teacher now? <laughs> <laughs> no need for modesty. If you intend to take the seat of vice president from me, this is the least you'll have to put up with. <laughs> She's less scary here compared when she, she became an adult. Well then, I'll leave you boys to it. Oh my god, he's a macho monster. <laughs> Get to it, boys. He could just fall asleep on Ave. He's like a big teddy bear. Is that one of the doggies you have? Botched order. You guys do the thing on me. Den two, den two. Kuchira service desu. What's the level 25? How about I just attack? Oh my god, I regret. I should have brought Belial in. Not so bad, why do you try it? Don't do shit. Don't do shit. Oh, I didn't mean to attack. No. A little pick me up. Go do this, do this. <laughs> Don't want to use Albert. He gonna be so strong. He just attack. Lowen, <laughs> why don't you do more? Do more. He's gonna die. Okay, I'll give a green potion to him. Where's my green potion? Nah. Hmm. Make sure he's good to lay up. Dancho no shori ni? Kaba! He did that in. Oh, it's another day. It's another day. Vice Press. So we've done with the school arc. Imperial help wanted. Yeah. Lowain and the bros are at the usual cafe, busy with their usual banter. On the fourth day, <laughs> the topic of conversation for the day is what kind of job will make them popular with women. Anyway, however you slice it, Rackham is a pretty, is a popular guy. 
やっぱソーダ師ってのもモテポだわグラサイの舵取る時の顔激渋<笑> Agreed Working as a helmsman is definitely a plus point with women He's got this wicked look when he takes the wheel あと B And v- やめれビーラちゃんはキンクって決めたろ<笑> He just traumatized the whole Vera. Hold it. No mentioning Vera, remember? Ugh, just when I thought I'd forgotten about her. <laughs> Trauma? <laughs> B-san, da yo, B-san. B-san mo moten na te hanashi. <laughs> Trauma? <laughs> How paranoid are ya? I was gonna say Vern, dude. Vern. That little guy totally has a way with women. Kara no kishi da cha. なんとか騎士団とかパネーベ騎士団長とかパネーベ Oh, and what about knights? And knight captains? They're no joke when it comes to popularity. Are we gonna bring in Lancelot and Vane here? ああ、そうとかさ、あのルックスで白竜の団長男の俺でも天上げなんだけど。Yeah, like Lancy. He's got the looks and that white dragon thing going on, right? Even my heart skips a beat when he's around. Siegfried's not bad either, man. He's totally the kind of dude you can look up to. So, Hmm, but you know what I think? Royalty definitely tops the popularity charts. Ah,、oh, you mean Percival? Oh, Aglo Velden. Didn't wanna pretend to be Aglo Vel. Like a king, you know? And in my kingdom, nobody says a king can't marry a commoner. By royal decree, I command you all do as you please. <laughs> King Tomoe. Suka demo demo. Hanashio modosto. Kishidancho mo. Ozoku mo. Do ya te nando? Real ni kangaeto. Kso jikan kagane. But back on topic, we're never gonna be knight captains or princess men. Let's focus on reality. Like, you know, a job that will give you instant popularity or something to broaden your appeal. You're good with kids, and you're not a bad cook, right? How about some kind of servant job? That's good news for you, Lowain, dude. You can pick something like that from over there. <laughs> from the help wanted ads? In the direction Tomoe points, there is a bulletin board inside the cafe. With a range of help wanted advertisements pinned to it. Oh, oh, oh! Buki ya? Dogu ya? Yorozu ya? Pan ya mo boshu shten be! Let me see. The weapon shop, the second hand shop, the knickknack shack. Oh, the bakery is hiring too. Goku teki ni wa pan ya jan? Yuga na asame shi, kitai sase te morau wa. You can cook, so the bakery would work, right? You can make us a fancy breakfast. Yeah, <laughs> No, I want a job to impress women, not something that's totally the same as my job now. Hmm. Oh, wow, here look, a serious job. The Earth Day Imperial Army wants you. Imperial soldier, an imperial soldier? Yeah, you make great imp, dude. <laughs> 
かい、インペソ。覚悟しろよ。俺たちと団長がぶっ倒してやんよ。<笑> All right, man. Are you ready to join your captain and take out the enemies of the empire? 広告に叫んでんじゃねえし、インペソの絵のやつも引いてるわ。Hey, don't show it yet. The soldiers in the picture might hear you, dude. Hey, isn't that a picture of Palmer? Hey, isn't that a picture of Palmer? I didn't know the imps needed job ads. They're always popping up. I thought maybe they just brought it out of the ground like weeds. 世の中の女子的にはインペソってモテポなんかな。What do women see in imperial soldiers anyway? ああ、評判クソ悪いけど、給料はいいって聞いたことあんな。うん、they have a bad reputation, but I heard the pay is good. I guess if you have money, you can take someone on exciting dates. どれどれインペソの給料ってどんなもんや Hmm, wonder what they get paid. Let's see. Lowen and the others crowd around the bulletin board and peer at the recruitment aid. At. ちょ、マジっすかこんなに出るもん What? Seriously? They make how much? バビッタ <laughs> When I go on a date. No, we don't go on dates in this room. Today. No such thing as dates. <laughs> There's only such thing as imaginary dates. <laughs> you just imagine like these dudes. <laughs> Whoa, that's a lot. And、uh, look at the fine print, too. There's a trial period and they pay your medical expenses. <laughs> well, no fair. Would experience as a helmsman get you special treatment? Your positions with the Prime Minister, too, right? <laughs> What's that about Prime Minister? Freesia, <laughs> right? She's kinda cute. You mean like riding on an airship with her? Yeah, she's an Irun too, I guess. I think. <laughs> If I remember right. <laughs> hmm. Riding on an airship with Freesia, huh? You know, if you were on an airship with Freesia. Might have a chance with her. Hey, wait, we shouldn't be getting starry, starry eyed over the enemy. She's definitely good looking, though. <laughs> well, no way. You're kinda right, though. <laughs> Freezy. <laughs> If I could work under Freezy. Oh no. Another. Too late for dates today, anyway. Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Who cares about dating anyway? No such thing as love and romance in this dream. <laughs> Screw Valentine's Day. The young commander stands aboard an imperial airship as battle rages against the enemy. <laughs> Look at that! Rain of cannon fire from the starboard side. Things are heating up. 
つうか下げんのり悪いよ<笑>パリピは昇進させてやんぞ The port side is looking a little sad though Maybe I should send some party goers that way Potato p u n k Commander <laughs> Who elected him as commander? Commander Tomoe The enemy is headed this way Should we intercept them? Intercept? Oh, sure. Anyway, we don't need to destroy them. Just scaring them off should be fine. Okay. Uh, excuse me, sir. I also have a message from the Prime Minister. She wants you in her cabin after you've won the battle. <laughs> Wait, after you've won the battle? Sure, must be some new orders, huh? Who led that goon to be a commander? <laughs> Excuse me, you call Prime Minister? Ah, he is an Erun too. He got the fluffy ears. Commander, congratulations on your latest victory. Please take a seat. <laughs> But, Prime Minister, this is your private cabin. For me to sit with you as though we are equals would be scandalous. <laughs> I can't. <laughs> no, <laughs> sit, that's an order. <laughs> yes, Prime Minister. <laughs> Here are your orders. Set a course north to rendezvous with rendezvous to rendezvous with rendezvous. Uh, darn, I don't know how to pronounce it. Rendezvous with the supplies unit. Get the equipment in order and have the crew rest. <laughs> As you command, Prime Minister. <laughs> この部屋で最初と呼ぶことを聞いています。いや。Oh, <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <Yeah. laughs> <laughs> when 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 we're in here, you don't need to call me prime minister. <laughs> yes. Oh, pardon me. 補給が完了した後、進路を西に待機している偵察隊と合流します。あと。When we have resupplied, plot a course west to regroup with the scouting unit on standby. Oh, and you can call me by my name. <laughs> Understood, Lady Frisia. Stop being so formal, like I cannot imagine Frisia like this. No, no, Frisia. It's not you. <laughs> okay, Freezy. This will never happen. Good. Now that's it for your orders. But tell me, Commander, what do you think? <laughs> She just let, let him call you Breezy. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I don't know. I guess it's good to let the crew rest and stuff. Emotional stress. That's not what I meant, Commander. I'm asking what you think of me. The decree. Dying. What? Um, I, er, I need to draw lots of bella notes of this to recover. <laughs> Stop fooling around. You're the finest officer in the empire. Don't pretend you haven't seen my true me already, oh girl. 
Answer me. This is an order from your superior. Oh God. Okay. But don't even think about deceiving me. If you lie just to make me feel better, I'll have you court martial. Marshall! <laughs> Freezy! Okay. <laughs> oh lord! I'm dead. I'm dead. Suddenly, Tomoe pulled Frisia into a hug, feeling in that embrace the anxiety and shyness that lies beneath her. <laughs> I cannot read, wait. <sighs> embrace the anxiety and shyness that lies beneath her icy words. And so begins a romance more dangerous than any battle they have faced so far. I can't. I cannot read it with a straight face. <sighs> okay. These dudes. They're inflicting lots of damage onto my psyche <laughs> with their imaginations. The setting sun shines into the cafe as Tomoe fantasizes about Frisia. <laughs> my god, oh lord. Freezy, stop. I'm still on duty. Uh, hey, Sammy. Does Tommy like women who boss him around or something? So, so <laughs> who knows? Now that you mention it, I don't think he's ever really told me, you know? It was just all, I like girls that I like, dude, with a smug look on his face. Yeah, I remember that. But then Vern said afterwards that he stole the line from Helnar. <laughs> oh, what? <laughs> That's Tommy for you. Oh. oh, right. Did you hear about that garbage incident? What? <laughs> what? That time Tommy got taken out with the trash because he was sleeping in a box? <laughs> I have all the Pokemon today. You know when you do the Pokecheck thing, I don't see the... Pokemon community do the command. Miss me think, is it only you you can see the thing? <laughs> right, that's it. He was covered in a in a blanket. Hey Tommy, tell him what happened. Ah, mm. Ugh, not that story again, dude. I'm busy loping with Freezy. Ah? Huh? Ah? Huh? Right back at ya. Here's the lowdown. <laughs> Worry, man. I don't... Wow, what the hell is this place? Never seen. Is it like a. a main quest? place later on a new place kind of pretty in the back street oh in the back streets of the imperial capital oh no wonder we haven't seen this place a pair of star-crossed lovers are hiding as they catch their breath oh 
Oh no, Inumi is tired. We're continuing with this romance. It had been Tomoe's suggestion to elope so that Frisia might be released from the heavy burden of her position. Pokemon, he doesn't respond anymore. What the hell? I thought if you have the Pokemon, it will respond with the check mark instead of the cross. But oh well, we've come so far, and they still haven't given up. Frieza would never... You fool, the Empire will never let us go. I know too many of their secrets. It doesn't matter where they go, where we go. They will follow us to the bottom of the sky. That's what I would do in their position. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, those soldiers must love their jobs if they follow you to like the bottom of the sky. <laughs> Stop joking around. You're being chased here too, you know? <laughs> oh, sorry. <laughs> the drama. I've had enough. Oops. I've had enough of you. Get out of here. I'll manage by myself. That's an order, Commander. <laughs> Just slide away. He's on a skateboard. He's not privy to any of the Empire's secrets. If he's alone, the military won't bother following him. <laughs> Go forth and live your life, Tomoe! I'm sorry, but I can't follow your orders. What do you mean? I want you gone because you're a nuisance. nuisance? Yeah, I guess they don't have normal human ears, I think. Freezy, did you know that when you lie, one of your ears droops? <laughs> what the heck? Can you just leave me alone? <laughs> no way, I'll follow your orders for the rest of my life. <laughs> no way we see Frieza like this. You fool. You just disobeyed me. I'll have you thrown in jail. Stop it! I cannot handle this. Go ahead, punish me. You really is such a fool. <laughs> Alright, let's get to the port. You just can't handle their imagination. I didn't expect to be in this much pain. <laughs> On the run once more, the star-crossed lovers leap past their pursuers and make plans to set sail on a ship of their choosing. See, even the game cannot cannot handle it. It doesn't load. You cannot load the the cringe. I have to click the reload button. Yeah, and I have to go here again and again. Dee -dee. 
tomorrow we're not finished. Light? No such thing as light. Only dark. Bet <laughs> So it means dark against dark. Thank you for the barrier. Barrier against Oh, okay. Trying to outrun, outrun the empire, the star-crossed lovers somehow managed to reach the port. It's a very interesting place. <laughs> Can we rest a minute? We've made it this far at least. That's fine. But what are we going to do next? There are no ships here. Well... <laughs> I guess the commander here doesn't amount to much after all. No, they're here already. <laughs> well, look what's brought it. I'm gonna peel you and serve you with butter. <laughs> I see you haven't lost that smart mouth, but it's too late. You're already surrounded. <laughs> <laughs> We're not monsters, though. Hand over the Prime Minister and we'll let you leave. <laughs> well, <laughs> let you leave. What are you going to do with Freezy? <laughs> Execute her, of course. We have to make an example of someone who defects with Imperial secrets. <laughs> You might have a long shelf life, but you're already rotten inside. <laughs> Tomoe, forget about me. It's too late. <laughs> Even the strongest officer in the Empire has to run out of steam eventually. The hell? What the hell are we doing there, stay? I don't want to be in his fantasy. There's an airship descending. There's an airship descending. Is that the Grand Cipher? <laughs> Sorry, dude. I totally overstuck. <laughs> Okay, anyway, get aboard the Grand Cypher, you two. <laughs> no, how could he have pulled this off? My bullshit imagination. <laughs> Don't underestimate the Empire's smartest officer. Come on, Freezy. <laughs> yes. And thank you, Tomoe. Yeah, so cringe. I don't need your thanks, Freezy. Just order me to protect you, and it's done. Yeah. Tomoe, from this day forward, make sure you always protect me. That's an order. Yeah. Please end this already. Understood. <laughs> Damn it. Soldiers, prepare to bombard the ship. We'll send it falling from the sky. Huh? What? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Huh, the only falling I'll be doing today is falling in love. I am. I hate. 
Dutcher has a way with words and a weird sort of way. <laughs> But I have no idea what he just said. <laughs> Shut up and help me clear out these ground troops. Hey, y'all. Fight the cringe away, please. Level 15 only? Ay, ay. As closing time draws near, Tomoe wakes from his nap to the sound of Lowen's laughter. He took a nap there. Ah, uh, I got all. Hey yo, <laughs> that's my state of mind. This audio mood, very mood. <laughs> She didn't nod it. She had mute first. All right. <sighs> I totally fell asleep, dude. <laughs> Finally woke up, huh? You were mumbling away in your sleep. Dreaming of Freezy, were you? Ah, uh, probably. <laughs> probably. Freezy might be a bit of an ice queen on the surface, but she's warm on the inside, you know? <sighs> How will you know? <laughs> Low Wayne, your daydreams are contagious. What time is it anyway? <laughs> Shut up. It's later than it was five seconds ago. Isn't it time we leave? <laughs> Yeah, if we don't get back to the inn, we'll get locked out. Oh? I, uh... No, but I just ordered. Oh, that's right. And Lowain, you haven't picked a job that make you popular yet. You should think about that while we're here, dude. Oh. Yeah, you're right. But I think something with substance would suit me best. <laughs> Whoa, is that what you got out of our conversation today? What do you even mean by substance anyway? I hey, did. Look at this. What is it? Tomoe stares intently at the board and points to one of the ads with a trembling hand. Oh, oh, oh! Come here, come here we are, an enrollment test for the Order of the White Dragon. No, that's perfect. You can join the Order of the White Dragon. And then if you became captain... You might have a chance with Isabella. And so Lo Wen and his bros continued their silly conversation by the bulletin board late into the night. 
Azelena's. No, I think I'm gonna take a break. Chapter 5, 6, and then ending. Three more. Oh my god, am I. Why is my AP going up? Is it because I'm doing side, side story? Oh no, it's from the side quest, right? Eh? No, that's free. We mm, don't know. I just don't know. I'm gonna take a break. 500 years difference. What kind of daydream is that? But we'll find out soon. I'm gonna take a short break. I don't know. I don't know. I'm gonna drink water. Maybe just drinking water? I don't wanna pee, not really. I just want to move my body. <laughs> this is a quick bear boo. What a way. What a way to celebrate. But we don't celebrate anything. It's just a normal day. It's a normal day. Oh, I need to charge the phone, right? This is what I need to do. I need to charge the phone. It's... Eh? Why can I? today Dudes. right all right my kitty cat Kenny he don't sleep near me he sleeps in a chair I'm gonna wash my face. I'm gonna just be a little longer than expected. Maybe do I go to go to the brigade? Oh, it's another day. Yee. What the honk is this? What kind of event this is? The heck? I don't know what event. They didn't say what event. Neha, you there? Guess who's back? Why I'm this? What the hunk? It is. My herbs. Neha wanted. I kinda don't want to look at this event. I want to skip. The place is Nehan's office, Stardust Town. The doctor leans out from a back room, looking more tired than usual. Ah, hmm. They look full. <laughs> Even in a suit, they don't have that. They don't have that sight. <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> oh, thank you. You can leave it on that desk over there. Okay. What is this? Is it Valentine's event? Darn it! Mugen places the shopping bag with the herbs on the table as instructed, then takes one item out of it, a neatly wrapped little box. Take my phone and how much space my pictures take up. <gasps> yeah, 
You'd be a hassle to try to clean your phone. I'm gonna go to he I'm gonna head to bed. Thanks for the stream. Enjoy the rest of the stream. See ya. Yeah, have a nice uh, sleep. And, and thanks for coming to the stream. Oh, I forgot to ask all. I wanna take a break with. Hey, y'all. Oh, darn it. Hey, y'all. If you have full on hand, play the game. I was looking in your stream too, Henrietta. I woke up, lurk. Hmm. 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 I woke up, lurk. Fine. Why not? I'll see what event is this. You were out longer than I expected. Did something happen? Hmm. Dang, his horns are very, very big. Mugen helped hurt lady. She gave present to thank. <laughs> The model. <laughs> the model seemed pleased. For some reason, she says she felt like a princess after Muge carried her back home. <laughs> I see. Nice work. Mugen cheerfully unwraps the box and discovers it contains chocolate. Yeah, I, do. I guess it is a Valentine's Day event, huh? He offers it to Nehan. <laughs> Thanks for the soul. Thanks for looking. I appreciate it. Same to you. Nighty night, Henriette. Have nice Baratiri dreams. Hmm. I'm trapped in this event. Mugen wanted to buy Nehan's souvenir. But today, no money enough. Aw, mood. <laughs> this can be souvenir. Take this, Nehan. Don't worry about me. The lady gave it to you as thanks. You should eat it. I was very close to make a horn joke but decided not to. You might be able to guess it. No. <laughs> but he do have very big and long horns. Okay, but... Hmm. Nehan? Oh. <laughs> okay, I think it's done. Nehan sees much patience every day. Much tired. Should eat sweet thing. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, <laughs> you do look exhausted, Neha. Even I've noticed, and that's no good. Hmm, <laughs> sorry to have worried you. Alright, I'll take it. Finally, taking the chocolate from Mugen's hand, Nehan bites off a piece and chews. His eyes wander to the box. What is that wrapping though? It's even got a ribbon. Yeah, it is a Valentine's event. And we're trapped. Darn it. No, I've been hearing mortals say it's almost Valentine's. It's already been. It's past. It's probably got something to do with that. <laughs> Valentine's. Lots of candy. I wish. Yes, there's a Valentine's tradition where you give something to someone you like. Mostly chocolate, to be specific. <laughs> Mugen likes Nehan very much. Give you much sweets. 
まあ、歌詞で感謝を伝える習慣もあることはあるが。That's not what I meant. Although it is true that some give out sweets as a form of appreciation. <laughs> That's strange. I thought you liked Muge too, Neha. Neha opens his mouth to explain further, but something else comes out instead. <sighs> The audacity. I hate Mugen. <laughs> Spanish shock. What the heck? <laughs> That voice threw me off. Which voice? w a m d a s <laughs> What? Sorry, I didn't mean that. What a hong? <laughs> Mugen knows. Nehan like Mugen. Ne Nehan is a little strange right now. Ah, Wamu gets no toy ni kodayo to Statokoro de Kuchima Katini Ugoite. Yeah, I wanted to respond to Wamu's question, but it came out wrong. What? Kono chocolate. Wait a minute. This chocolate. What is it? Shaving slivers of the chocolate off into、oh, shaving slivers of the chocolate off into the beakers. Nehan gathers vials from around the office and begins a chemical analysis. Oh, right then and there. I want to see. Happy Valentine's Day. Oh, wow, wow. Here's a boat on the house. Bring that one up. Who? Ne. Chocolate conspiracy. Ooh la la. Chocolate conspiracy. Okay. I was actually going to go here. Because we want to. I want to take a break. I need to wash my face. Don't go pee. Let me go to the jukebox. <laughs> How about this song? How about this? Hmm. Yeah, I guess. Mugen, such a big guy. Oh, hey, y a h Yeah, we don't know anything about him. I don't have his character. I only have w a m d e s I don't have Nehan, too. But I guess we could do their side story. I don't know which one, though. I need to see the wiki. The GBF wiki. Alright, be right back for real. Thank、you
Washy wash face. Gotta keep. Gotta feel refresh. Let's continue until we finish everything. Only 200 rupees. What is it anyway? What's this? You need to be to give Valentine's off it. It's not like I can give to Belial. easy but don't I have ooh, a power up oh it's only a power up eh. I wonder if everyone has like a Valentine message <laughs> they, they do I come back how is the cat doing and they're all asleep all of the kitty cats they be asleep because they haven't called me now nah, we'll save the valentine's message another day then. but we know it be a thing let's go back to the side story Right behind you. What's this right behind you? Oh, I think we need to do this. It's part of the society. Oh, mercenary's life. Oh, I see. Dancing Avengers. Flames of the Heart. Oh, la la. Boots and blades. Oh. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm just finish this. Hmm. Five hundred years difference. The fifth day is it? They spending a whole week at this cafe just talking. Today the bros are at the same old cafe exchanging trivial banter. Oh, I need to get my the support. This time they are playing a game which involves calling out the names of the primal beasts in succession. But I don't think they know Belial yet. Tiamat. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, just a bit. No, I think. <laughs> Albacore, a giant fish. <laughs> Poseidon, do you know him? Him a baratiri man, handsome man. 
Game over. I'm calling hesitation there, man. And you fumbled your words. That's three losses in a row now, dude. <laughs> Shut it. Don't forget I have the highest win rate so far. Right, Mr. Nine Consecutive Defeats? <laughs> Hold on, wait a sec. That's eight consecutive defeats. Let's not forget the legendary comeback at the 32nd tournament. <laughs> Alright, ready to begin the 45th Grand Tourney for the Primal Beast name game, guys? <laughs> nah, I think I'm done with this, dudes. <laughs> I feel ya, man. I'm pretty beat myself. Actually, I was already tired by the 10th ten, round, but I was like, whatever, you know? <laughs> you got some serious perseverance there, Tommy man. I was bored by the 5th round. <laughs> well, that's quick. To be honest, I was making a few of those names up and you that you dudes didn't even call me out. <laughs> really? For real, dude? Like, which ones? <laughs> like, you remember the one I said at the start of the last round? Zumbo Boranch? There was a primal beast, right? I swear we fought something like that on Fremi Island. <laughs> Nope, totally made it up, dude. And you totally didn't notice. <sighs> hmm, so isn't there anything interesting to talk about? <laughs> In the GBF universe, they don't have TV shows. Or the internet. Well, if you insist, you guys mind if I, like, say something a little out there? Oh, you're too self-conscious about this stuff, man. Don't think, just say, you know? <laughs> I don't think you should. <laughs> mm, well... You know... Drizzle is a primal beast, right? Are you kinda like, interested in her or no? It's her turn. Dude, is there anyone in the skies who wouldn't be curious about primal beasts? That's not what I mean, dude. You know, aren't you interested in her? Being so sus again. I mean, like... Don't you think Dressel is kind of cute, dudes? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> wow, whoa, whoa, whoa. 
Why not? <laughs> you serious, dude? Calling a primal beast cute. No right, all right. Gross. I'll drop it. <laughs> She's totally cute. Go <laughs> wow wow wow. Phew, you dudes had me worried. Iggy is real cutie, am I right or am I right? Oh yeah, you bet. I was totally thinking it. <laughs> thinking it when I saw her. I was all like, it's kind of wrong, but dude. <laughs> to myself, you know? <laughs> I wonder how old she is anyway. Like 500? I don't know, but I guess she was born around like the time of the war or something. Man, she's older than me. She looks so cute, but she's really an older woman. Hey, hey, what do you think her hobbies and favorite, like, cuisine and stuff are? Think we should ask Lyria? Wouldn't Rosetta know more about that? I mean, they're practically roommates, right? I bet she has an awesome kitchen garden. <laughs> Cause she lives in the forest, right? That's why, right? That means we gotta have something in common, so... Whoa. We better brush up on our veggie garden knowledge, bros. Hold on, wouldn't it be the other way around? She lives in a forest, so she likes town stuff? That was always that way, right? Town stuff? But like... Primal beasts are... <laughs> Yigi in town, huh? Oh, <laughs> poor Yigi. And she, she... And she's mute. Yigi doesn't talk. How? How will they imagine her? One afternoon, Elsom and the others invite Yggdrasil out to show her around a certain urban town. And Yggdrasil, she's giant. She's not normal human size. She's a giant primal beast. How? <laughs> what do you think, Yugi? This is a town where humans live. <laughs> he doesn't talk. And she's a giant. <laughs> I guess maybe she can shrink down? Is there anything you want to do? We'll give you the lowdown on anything you want. Just say the word. <laughs> ah, it's so nice not talking for a change. <laughs> <laughs> Over there, huh? I had a feeling you'd take an interest in the clothes shop. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome, we have the latest fashions on display. Oh, this one looks good. I bet it'll fit you, Iggy. <laughs> Don't sweat it, it'll suit you for sure. Excuse me, can we try this on? Hmm. 
<laughs> you like the test this size, sir? Hold on, there's no way I'm selling anything to this girl. <laughs> oh, what? What's with that attitude, dude? <laughs> hey, whoa now, we can't discriminate against her just cause she's like a primal beast, man. I think it's more about her size, is Is she a giant? Like, show some diplomacy, dudes. Mr. Shopkeep, you're a professional, right? You should know you can't just choose your customers. <laughs> oh my god <laughs> So she She really is a giant Don't mess with me As if we'd have a size to fit her Her head's practically in the clouds <laughs> How does she say <laughs> A giant lady Yugu Yugu Iggy Idrasil runs off in tears but Elsa and the others follow close behind unable to think of anything consolatory to say between them I'm glad that she doesn't talk <laughs> The cafe is bathed in shafts of golden sunlight. The brogues are crestfallen after Lewin points out the reality of the situation. I can't believe it, dude. Let's just leave it be. Fact is, they're not compatible with us people. I understand. It's kind of painful, but I can't, like, counter your powerful logic, bro. <laughs> Sorry, dude. It's tough for me to accept, too. Sammy, how about we play another round of that Primal Beast name game? <laughs> Can't do it, man. <laughs> I ain't gonna give up on her. It's just not right. Never gonna give up <laughs> on your bitch. <laughs> It makes my blood boil, dude. But what can we do about it? She can't live like we do, you know? Don't lose your cool, man. Just give it a little time, at least. Don't like betray me and all, bro. You were worked up yourself just now. Can't let the height difference get in the way. <laughs> A very, very big height difference. Yugu, Yugu. I, I won't have it, bros. I'm not giving up on Yugi, you hear? Oh. Huh. It's tolerable when she doesn't speak. Yggdrasil is staggering about in the interior of the forest, lost in grief. <laughs> I'm sorry, Yigi. I should never have invited you into town. Oh, look, you know those clothes? They don't matter, you know? You look best in the clothes you're wearing now. 
I mean it. Next time I'll show you somewhere even better. I'm sure you'll like it, Yigi. Exclamation mark. Sliding on a skateboard. Listen to me, Yigi. <laughs> Dekai, I'll become a big man for you. A great big man for you. Question mark. <laughs> I mean, uh, that is, I'll eat lots of meals like crazy and I'll become a giant sized man. <laughs> Again, oh man, even though it's just a one-sided conversation, and uh, the the attack on my psyche in one day, I'll become so giant that I'll be able to embrace you, I promise, totally. Yeah, so please, please leave with me, Higi. No. Yggdrasil <laughs> takes Elsom's hand in her palm silently, breaking into a smile for the first time. Dude, I can't. Leave Iggy alone. <laughs> win? No such thing as win. Only summer battle. <laughs> Arigato for the summer battle. A short while after Elsom's declaration of love, he and Yggdrasil are heading toward their new home, a giant wooden house. I don't see it anywhere. <laughs> Alright, I've picked lots of nuts and berries for us. <laughs> Don't mention it. Anyone in my place would do the same. <laughs> okay, well, I'll leave you to prepare the meal. I'll be in the back garden if you need me. Like he's just guessing what she's saying. Come on now, I'm not telling ya. It's a secret, remember? Well, see you in a bit. Oof. This axe is crazy heavy, man. Man, this curved part is gonna be tough. But I just gotta make it look neat. What is it? Hmm. Yo, bro. How you been, Sammy, my man? <laughs> She's a big girl with a really soft heart, soft heart it seems. Yes, so. Wowie, I swear this house gets bigger every time I see it, dude. It's like practically a castle. Some kind of mountain. I don't know. <laughs> Whoa, dudes, like, send word before you turn up in the future, yeah? <laughs> You live in the middle of the of a forest, dude. Send word how? By wood pigeon or something? Anyway, what's with the axe? <laughs> I'm making a spoon. It's kinda like her birthday present. <laughs> birthday? Didn't know Primal Beast even had those. <laughs> I 
<laughs> just outright say it. <laughs> yeah, well, it's like my fantasy, dude. Anyway, we were talking about it earlier and I decided her birthday would be tomorrow. Oh. He decided. <laughs> no, nice one, Sammy. She'll love you for that. Dude, you guys have like this freaking cool lifestyle going on. What the heck, man? Uber jealous here. <laughs> oh, but don't let her catch on or anything, yeah? I'm gonna surprise her tomorrow. You idiot, we know that. But look, how are you gonna make a curve shape with just one egg? X. <laughs> hmm. Whoa. What in disguise was that, dude? Sounded like someone firing a gun. Oh. <laughs> but there aren't many monsters in this forest. Wait. Couldn't be. Iggy? <laughs> I found you, monster. You think you can just do what you want in this forest? Huh? <laughs> Fire, you lot. Don't let up. Let her have it. It's not working? Darn. Target a more vulnerable spot. Target over Vibration. <gasps> oh, he didn't say anything. Hello? It's working. Keep firing. Burn its lair to the ground. No. <laughs> That's very delayed. He's a potato, he's back. Nah, in their fantasy, um, all the NPCs are called potatoes. <laughs> oh no. Not this form. <laughs> what is this thing? Potato punk. Yeah, every NPC in their in their imagination is called potato punk. Hey, look here, potato punk. What's the big idea, huh? <laughs> no smart pissing of a primal being, yo. Just doing our job. The forest been losing trees lately, and people are running out of lumber. So we were called in to clean up. And then we found this place. Looks like this monster's been felling the trees around here for wood. For wood? But that's... It's my fault, dudes. I was such an idiot to do this. It's no use. I can't understand what she's saying anymore. And she'll never go back to normal. It dresses ravages the surrounding area in a rampage, and it seems like no one will be able to stop her. Yeah, she does the form that Freezy, Freezy puts her into in the main quest, in the latest main quest. And we couldn't defeat her. It's a story reason I have to die. <laughs> 
Seems like no one will be able to stop her. Yeah. Yee, no. Hmm. His big house building plans went too far, yeah. Yeah, to fit Iggy inside the house. Gotta be a very big house. Sammy, don't tell me you've given up now. When you said you were gonna become a great man, was this what you meant? Huh? <laughs> oh, what? Like, what am I supposed to do? <laughs> Loane and me, we both respect you, dude. <laughs> it was you who got over the whole height difference before. So we know you can overcome this too, man. <laughs> over the height difference. You guys. Yggdrasil. Uh, I remember it's called malice. She got hit with this thing called malice, and it turns her into that. All right, enough of your lectures already. You better not be late for the party tomorrow. Yee, just wait. We're gonna get you back to normal. Oh no, we're fighting her? I'm scared, I don't wanna die. <laughs> Iggy. Iggy, Molly, Clingy. Hey, <laughs> they changed their names. I want you to psych Summer Belly on you. It, hey, is this? Oh, I think this is the final. Hey, no, it's not the final. You guys handle it. Is your story. Just do a little pick me up here. Okay, at least just do one of this. Ooh. Set Molly first now. Can I? Dead already. Here's why I don't want to use Albert. Oh well. Easy peasy. Nah, this is just a side story, a silly one, just your imagination. Even the names are changed. Easy. Did you release a Grand Blue Fantasy on PS4 or PS5? Yeah, it's Grand Blue Relink. Or is it you're talking about? Or not talking about, you're seeing Grand Blue Fantasy versus a fighting game. Got Belial in it. You can be down. You'll be more powerful now. Nah, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's different with the main story. Did it. Just your silly imagination. No way it's that easy. <laughs> oh, was that? Oh. Good. Wake up, Sammy, my man. You're closing shop soon. Ayya. As the cafe nears closing time, Elsom blinks his eyes groggily as he is shaken awake by Loane. Uh, <laughs> uh, what happened to Yige? <laughs> Look at you drilling, dude. Let me go get a dishcloth or something. <laughs> Relink, yeah. Uh, yeah. They released that 
on the 1st of February. It's new. I haven't seen it myself. Of course, I don't play it. <laughs> I don't have the game. But I haven't even seen the game, actually. So, no spoiling. No spoilers about that. But feel free to tell me if there's Belial in it. So far, I don't think there's Belial in that. Not yet, anyways. Okay. Sorry about that, man. Right, it's nearly closing time, huh? <laughs> Today was so boring. What do you want to do tomorrow? Tomorrow, me don't want to stream. Me just gonna... I think I'll color. I'll color. Balonut. <laughs> They're waiting for us. Meh. What's keeping Amara and those guys anyway? What kind of assignment was it again? Something about investigating a cave? They'll be back before long. <sighs> <laughs> Dude, I wanna see cats soon. The bros prepare to leave, and their chit chat continues well into the night. <laughs> no more. All three of them got their <laughs> got their like imagination. It, it took their turns. With their crazy imaginations. Now for true love. <laughs> Voted number one. Fresh. Fan babe. Best value. <laughs> Just read that. True love. Alright. Final chapter. After this is the... What? Uh, the ending chapter. Water. No such thing as water. Only the... Bed. Oops. No. Pedal. Only pedal. Hmm? Low wing. Need Catalina. I thought I have Catalina. Oh, okay. Need to bring Catalina, huh? How about I... Mm. Do I take my chance? And replace Albert with Catalina. Sure. We already have. Okay, bring Catalina. Is this alright? Yeah. Must bring Catalina, huh? <laughs> I learn about Grand Blue Fans thanks to you is how I found a game. Yeah. Are you gonna play it, Yamper? Go play it. Go buy it. <laughs> it's the same cafe as always. Today, Lowen and the bros are again filling the air with trivial conversation. It seems that finally their topics on conversation are running out and they are slumped floppily in their chairs. Hey, Tommy, how long have we been here? Feels like forever. How long? You asked me that like five minutes ago. Where are those guys? Samara and the others. Being on standby is not fun, dudes. Maybe that assignment they took had them go super deep into the cave or something? Nah, bro. They said they were just doing a simple investigation. Hmm. 
I don't know, man, but maybe they ran into some mega bad monster on the way. So they care on this show. I know Dan to that you already say, Mamma, you know, me, Timmy, they are so it's a Japanese. Nah, bro, they aren't any monsters strong enough to beat the captain and the others. Not gonna happen, dude. Neka, ja, wanna ni hamate. What about, like, maybe they fell into a trap or something? Nah, bro. You know how those guys are all, like, super observant and stuff. They would totally notice a trap. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, what about... maybe they're having a party? <laughs> no way, man. If that were the case, there's no way they wouldn't have invited us. We're totally the party peeps, for sure. <laughs> Hmm, if you're just gonna like poo-poo my ideas, man, tell me why haven't they come back yet then? Then maybe they ran into some ultra bad monster on the way? <laughs> hey, I said that before. Man, this dumbass conversation. No, you didn't. You said mega bad, not ultra bad. <sighs> I wonder if Kat's okay. She should be fine though, right? I mean, it's not like a, like a big explosion will... <laughs> you did not say that, but it's funny. What in the skies was that? Did you let one rip? <laughs> As if, idiot. That totally made me jump, dude. <laughs> hey, hey, hey. We don't have any time to sit around being surprised. We should go and see what's up in town. <gasps> Finally, we're... This is for real. This isn't their imaginations. No oh, shoot, something seriously messed up must have gone down here. Everything's totally smashed to pieces. No man, this is no laughing matter. Do you think it was a primal beast? I don't know, man. What should we do, Loane? Maybe we should head back to the G-side for now. No, we need to help the injured. Let's take them to the cafe. It's safe and... It's the real Catalina, not the imagination Catalina. You guys, thank goodness you're safe. Cat, what's going on here? I'll tell you later. Right now we need to get off this island. Why? Do you know something? Is this to do with that? Is this to do with that assignment you took up? We discovered some ancient ruins in the cave we were investigating. We found a mysterious device and spent days trying to figure it out, but... Uh, 
With a thing as dangerous as that, we probably should have just left without touching it. <laughs> Vera? I found you at last. The device is dangerous, you say? I think it. I think that your understanding of it is a little lacking, Catalina. Wait, yeah, sister. We have imagined that the people of all use this device for war. But might it not be used for the opposite purpose too? <laughs> what the hell? For love, the device is a way to bind us together, to make us one. Hmm, what's going on here? Maybe this is actually an imagination, a trick one. You can't just drop this idea on everybody all of a sudden. I'm sorry, but I'm not but I don't understand. I'm not even gonna try. Hmm, that's a shame, but you know, I don't think you need to understand it. Hmm. <laughs> Dudes, chill out a little. I hear what you're saying. <laughs> Silence, pass. No, you're worse than that. Vermin. <laughs> You three are the cause, the very reason sister is being uh, is being driven mad. <laughs> hey Vera, why you always gotta be so mean, dude? Yabababa. <laughs> nah bro, she's super mean. I think so she's super dangerous, I think. Yabababa. <laughs> Nah, super duper mean. Oh lord. Oh lord, help us. Garar. This, the monster is less scary than Zira. <laughs> super duper ultra mega me. Let's get it, Loane. What's going on? We don't know. We don't know what's going on too. Oh, what the heck is this? Music. Oh, okay. Oh, I guess it just kind of a bit. Oh. Is this what meant? I don't think so. Wait. Uh. Oh, I cannot turn it back on. Let me turn it back on. Oh. Ayo, my phone is being not responsive. Wait, I can still click that. I can click this song. Okay. <laughs> Took a while to click on that. I got only that. This one is... Oh. Hmm. In a bit of a pickle. Oh lord. Hmm. 
guess we can attack. That's for healing. Get a just attacker. For sure, we'll see his charge attack. Oh la la. A magma golem. We fight. Is it chapter 6 yet? No, not yet. Is it? <laughs> I lost count. How about we go? They didn't drop anything. What the hunk? It's such bull crap. Continue. Oh yeah, we're chapter six. Why would you do that, Vera? <laughs> but we did it, Cat. Come on, over here. <laughs> Where did she go? <laughs> you really are a an idiot to fall for such a simple distraction. What is it? I don't understand what's going on. While Lowen and the bros have been dealing with the monsters, Vera has captured Catalina. A warped smile on her lips. <laughs> the heck is going on, Vera? No, to exterminate you rodents. But taking Catalina back to my secret lair of love comes first. <laughs> what? I let myself be captured by Vera, hell no. Luwain, run! Amara and everyone have been captured too. Go get help from Sierra. <laughs> Sturajimasu. There's no point even trying, so I'll take my leave. <laughs> bye bye. Vera chants an incantation, after which they both disappear into the sky in a trail of blazing light. Hey, I kinda wanna know that too. That'd be pretty neat to teleport. Dude, Loain, wait up, man. Cats are to run away. Damn, he's already gone. Well, we better follow him. This cave, deep down. Try and chill a little, dude. No good just running in all. No good just running in all guns blazing. 
Totally. Someone ought to get hold of Fiero. I'm a butthead for asking you this, Rose, but can I rely on you not to say anything? I want to do this on my own. Hmm. Don't be rash, dude. What do you think you can do alone? Hmm. Maybe save Cat from the bad guy? Or should I say bad girl? Bro, what does it take to get through, to, through your thick head? Cat wanted you to run, not to help her. We couldn't help even if we tried. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know that. Besides, this is my chance to be Prince Charming, so I'm gonna take it. Huh? You're still on about that? <laughs> You're an idiot. A complete idiot. You're both jerks. Fine. Let's ask Siero. <laughs> Wait. What? <laughs> There'll be your horse. You can't be Prince Charming without a horse, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Operation White Stallion is a go. Lowen's gonna be the stuff of legends when this is all over. <laughs> Dudes. <laughs> Let's save the damsel in distress together for reals. <laughs> Way. Having made up their minds. Loen and the bros rush into the deep dark cave. This talking of cave and finding an ancient ruin reminds me of the game The Forest and the Sons of the Forest. I watched it like just now, <laughs> recently. I even watched the lore. I'll be interesting. It's a horror survival game. The cave that Loane and the bros are progressing into gradually opens up into an artificial structure, leaving the boys amazed. See, just like the forest. Ah. <laughs> Whoa, this cave is like off the chain, dude. I feel ya, bro. These are ancient ruins? Hmm. I guess so. But which way should we go? There's tunnels all over the place. Hmm, is that Catalina? Louis, is that you? Oh, Farah. Hey guys, Farah's here. Ah, on the other side of that door? Hey, Farah, are you okay? Hmm. We're all fine. Captain's also here. We can't get out. You don't have the key. Hmm. The key? I don't see anything like that here. Dudes, we gotta find that key. Oh, oh, oh. 
しらにかかってんめちょっと待ってろよ。He's stuck on the pillar. Hold on a sec. Ew, thanks. You guys really helped us out back there. <laughs> Is Cat with you? Cat! Oh, we were gonna ask you the same thing. Haven't you met up with her? <laughs> Hmm, huh? We haven't seen her ever since we got, she got captured in town. I wonder where Vera's keeping her. What is this device? Captured? That's terrible. It must be that device. What is it? Tell us. Uh, that device have anything to do with like ancient tech by any chance? We don't really know anything. All we do know is that is it spells trouble. About that device. Yeah, tell me what is it? I'm getting sleepy. Eepy. It transforms people, molding them into puppets. <laughs> Transforms? Molds them into puppets? Nanny? While we were investigating, Vera started attacking us all of a sudden. <laughs> she must have plans to use the device to manipulate manipulate Catalina. Can't let it happen. Oh man, we all know Vera is head over heels in love with Kat. What's she gonna do with her though? Beats me, but I don't get it. She was already on such good terms with Kat, so is doing that really necessary? Vera, can you move? If you can, show us where the device is. <laughs> of course! In order to put a stop to Vera's treachery, Lowain and the bros push deeper into the ancient ruins. Hmm. Water, no such thing as water. I need some burial. Some burial if you do. No. Some burial is dead. We only bring normal burial. Lowain and the bros arrive at the inner sanctum of the uh, ancient ruins. Vera. <laughs> welcome, welcome. I see you're still alive. And no, oh, if it isn't Farah and the others too. <laughs> Give us back, Senpai. Senpai Catalina. Otherwise, we'll. <laughs> Never forgive me. Please resent me as much as you wish. <laughs> Catalina's company alone will make me complete. My Catalina, I'm going to give you a fresh start. We shall be together now. Together now and for all time. 
Start by saying hello to everyone, dearie. Why dong? <laughs> He's a robot. Is a tank? Why did you come here? <laughs> Carolina! Say bye! What? Dude, talk about a transformation. Cat! <laughs> okay, looks fine. <laughs> He talks so seriously and then this comes out. <laughs> this, the burn face. He's turning into a robot. Mecha. Cat. Oh, Wayne, don't look at me. <laughs> the beginning of the end. A fitting reward for the one who caused this all. The man who appeared and ruined everything. What the hell? Lo Wayne caused it all, you say? Is it because of his imagination? He's so strong? Girl, I can I noticed, you see. How Catalina gazes at him, how her expression softens, how her attitude changes. There's no use denying it. Little by little, I could see Catalina's heart being moved by the affection of this man. <gasps> So unfair, so repulsive, so filthy. I cannot forgive his transgre <laughs> transgressions. Okay. Okay. Whoa, 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 what are you on about? <laughs> Girl. Good <laughs> thing. Finding this rune was so fortuitous. To be able to turn someone into a weapon you can control, it's perfect. Caterpillar. <laughs> she moves where I want and says what I want to hear. The perfect Catalina, my caterpillar, has been born. Caterpillar. <laughs> Is she inside that? <laughs> Lil Wayne, I told you to run. <laughs> oh my god, is this real? Feels unreal, you know. Even as I am now, you still wish to date me. <laughs> Again, my back. Hell to the yes. I'll keep your tanks topped up daily. Shine your plating. Hell to the yes. <laughs> what? What fuel do you take? Does Sierra sell it? I wonder. No way. <laughs> I still can't believe this is real. I don't think it's just re this is real. I am but a machine, but this man, he still moves my heart. I can't believe. I won't believe this. I won't believe it. <laughs> he does love me, I guess. No. <laughs> what? Kimi no koto wa. It's just say I, right? Luwain, <laughs> I, towards you. 
取りなさい。<笑>ビーケガーロールディルザーズワタクシノモイトーリオネサマワタクシオアイスタリトシャテ It's a very unique It's a unique What's the word? I don't, I don't even know what's the word now It's like I said She says what I want her to say Now, Caterpillar, tell me you love me. <laughs> Now, that's an I love you. <laughs> I love you, Vira. I love you. <laughs> Just tell me, you bastard. That's not love. <laughs> He just said, o n e s a m a my doting sister, when you help me take out the trash. Katakila. <laughs> Here, let me activate your ancient, beautiful, destructive capabilities as Katakila. <laughs> Catalina transforms into a weapon and starts firing missiles in all directions, causing the entire cave system to shake. <laughs> Not cool, she, she's shelling everything. <laughs> She's like running rampant. Hey, Vera, what are you doing? The whole cave will collapse and that'd totally be a bummer, dude. <laughs> Oops, did I press the wrong button? Katakila, aim for the ringleader. He's a w a n <laughs> Senpai, l o w a i n e is no use. We need to get out of here. <sighs> Damn it. I'm not allowed to leave. I'm not sure my legs are up to all this running. Feels like the whole island's gonna fall apart. <laughs> well, the ships hit the fan, Farah. What in disguise do we do now? <laughs> What? We need to contact Sierra and assemble the sky's greatest team of sky s p e c t Skyfarers and agents before it's too late. We should get back to the G Sive dudes. The Katakila will be here, so. <laughs> oh, there's an accelerate button, too. Of course, there is. My p r e t e r Precious Katakila. <laughs> Damn you, Vera. It's dangerous. <laughs> you can't halt the path of destiny. Now, Katakila, destroy them. <laughs> Rain. <laughs> Why are you hesitating? I commanded you to attack. Attack! <laughs> 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 
悪いんだけどグラサイモドンはキャンセルで<笑> Farrah dude I'm sorry but I don't think I'll be going back to the G side canceling that やっぱ俺の手で決着つけねえとあいって逃げてたらつかめねえから I need to finish this with my own two hands. If I always run from love, I'll never be able to hold on to it. <laughs> Sister, you're my ancient battle caterpillar. Obey me. <laughs> Hmm. Caterpillar, is it now? Been a long time since I got mad, but. Hmm. <laughs> Her name is Catalina, and she's my one true love. Get it. Dude, I'm with you. I'm totally mad too. Me three, bro. <laughs> Bros. <laughs> Bros, activate. H. B. <laughs> A. <laughs> Human pyramid attack. We're fighting Caterpillar. Lady Caterpillar. <laughs> I cannot see Vera. Lady Ter Level 30, Lady Caterpillar. Hmm. Okay, let's see. We'll bring Belial to bring Chaos. It's the last one. This is the final. And then... We can finally end the stream. Ayo. Alright, so. We read someone. <laughs> That's Vera with a remote control. No, not yet. Should. Do this, do this. Make this. Alright. Mm. Mm -hmm. Wait, I can still do this. Okay. CHK? Hmm, hmm, hmm. Oh, why not? I already called Bella. I can call other people right now. Maybe not. Maybe yes. I didn't say anything. Any rule about that? Mm-hmm. Uh -huh. will just attack. Let's do that immune. Hey, wait. I shouldn't be able to have Catalina in my party if she's become the caterpillar like that. <laughs> Ayo. Then who's this Catalina in our side? Catalina, I didn't do a thing. God dang. Well, she has heals. Okay. Oh no, he's blinded. Alright. 
Okay, we did it. Yay. Human pyramid. As long as it's not human centipede, a hey. play the ending. Where the heck is up? The bros have put an end to Vera's tyranny and stopped the caterpillar. However, as a result of the fierce battle, the very island itself seems about to crumble, shaking violently. Oh, these poor people. Yeah. Oh man, you guys, get back to the G-side. You got it, dude. Wait, which way even is it? Like, everything's so messed up. I can't even tell. <laughs> what? Pull yourself together, man. Not that I can tell myself. You don't have your robotic voice anymore. Who <laughs> win? Over there. Make for that feel. <laughs> Cat? Thank goodness you're awake. Yo, Sammy, Tommy. <laughs> Leave it to us, bro. Farah, Mara, dudes, bros, follow me. <laughs> okay, senpai, don't worry. I'll help with your maintenance too. I all 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 your cogs and tighten your bolts. <laughs> She's forever a robot now. Thank you, Farah. You're welcome. Okay, I'll go and secure our route then. <laughs> Have they gone? Hey, Tommy. Already know what you're gonna say, bro. You want to say Vera, huh? <laughs> it's the second time we're saving you, Vera. After you screwed us over. <laughs> I'm sorry, dude. It's just I can't help but respect someone who loves the same woman as me. <laughs> yeah, love rivals. <laughs> you idiot. But whatever. You better treat me to something real nice later. <laughs> You have to, Luwain, you have to hurry too. I'll catch up as soon as I reboot. <laughs> you know, you're a bad liar, cat. You can't move anymore, can ya? Can ya? You knew, hmm. Looks like I don't have any fuel left. I thought so. Well, what if I get behind and push like this? Using all his strength, Loen begins to push the caterpillar's iron body along. I tell you to just leave me here, but you wouldn't listen anyway. <laughs> 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 
Are you so damn happy that you still recognize me? You know, you've kept surprising me ever since we first met. Oh yeah? I think I'm pretty normal though. Normal, huh? I see. <laughs> Yo, Lowen, bro. I took everyone back to the G side. <laughs> hey, that's not fair, dude. Pushing cat all by yourself. Let us in on the fun, man. <laughs> you guys. <laughs> awesome, Tomoe. You know, men like you really are. <laughs> Alright, let's do this together, bros. <laughs> One, two. <laughs> Ooh, <laughs> Lord, it's just your imagination the whole time. Just your dream. Wake up, Loane. Come on, we're departing any minute now. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it can't be true. <laughs> Shafts of morning sunlight bathe the cafe where the bros have fallen asleep in their seats as Catalina calls out exasperately. <laughs> They all have the same dream. <laughs> Can't <I> feel it. <laughs> Halsam and Tomoe won't wake up either. What could they have possibly been doing? <laughs> oh, are you the owner? I apologize on behalf of my crewmates for any trouble they have caused. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'm actually gonna miss listening to these guys' random conversations. <laughs> So you must be this cat I've heard so much about. It seems it seems like last night was an especially tough one. A tough one? What do you <laughs> Cat I'll protect you Zed <laughs> I want to sleep too, to be honest. I can't see the G side. We made it. <laughs> hey, uh, what's with you guys? How do you manage to have the same dream? <laughs> I love you, Catalina. <laughs> yare, yare, you know, men like you really are. <sighs> With a wry smile, 
Catalina glances sidelong at the bros, who continue their self-indulgent dream with happy smiles. But the soft sunlight glitters in promise of the time when the bros' infinite love and reckless disposition will become a reality. <laughs> they will become a reality in Grand Blue Versus. Or so it seems. Let's hang the end. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Lord, save us. Is there no... Oh, Albion Military Academy trio. War Mecha Caterpillar. Hey, we got the bouquet. Ooh, nice. You've unlocked this quest. Watch order. What's this? Is it? Do we fight the Catalina? Now let's see. I need to see. It's water. Does the does the rule still apply? Does the rule still apply? Oh, I'll just bring Bella. Mm. I don't need to bring Catalina in, right? I don't wanna die. But water, right? Maybe I'll just bring Agobel. Just switch this uh, replace. With water. I'll bring Wanda's. Just to quickly kick their butt. What is this? Ayo, my tummy, rumble. Botched order. Ah. Oh. Get wrecked. Oh, not get wrecked. こちらサービスです。電柱、電柱。ものの句が良い。あぎょうの邪魔はさせん。いや、ウェイ、セイ、セイ。いてつくが良い。Oh, I skipped the animation charge attack. Oh well. Lady Caterpillar showdown. But, oh well. You can get a Lady Caterpillar summon. What does it do? Oh, 50% only. Okay. Before I forget, we gotta see the field notes, is it? No. Eh, no. I don't know where I wanna go. Okay, journal. Story. Events. Right. Ayo, my tummy. Where is it? Ah, uh, let's hang. <laughs> this. The Albion Military Academy Trio. A delusion, no, a delusion of Catalina, Vera, and Farah from their school days at the Albion Military Academy, as imagined by Loane and his buds. Although great effort was used to imagine specifics, including their roles in school and their teenage personalities, it should be noted that all details were a result of a delusional fantasy, and in fact, 
Farah was never enrolled in the academy. Okay. I'm glad they cleared that up. Three of them. <laughs> They'll appear again for table for six. And then... <laughs> Caterpillar. <laughs> what if I click here? <laughs> a Catalina remodeled into a war mecha by Vera. After her revamp, Catalina must succumb to Vera's will, as she has no freedom of her own. But Loin's unyielding true love shall surely pierce her steel heart. Or so Loin imagines. All is imagination. I think... I think that's it, right? Only two. Okay, so the next side quest I'm gonna do is... Where do I go? Where do I freaking go? Where do I go? I go here. The next one should be... Now I need to see my book. Where the hell is my book? Table for six. I cannot. Darn it. Oh. Chapter 46. Darn it. I cannot do the next one. Table for six is a Loween story. Hmm. So I can't do that. And yeah, we could do the sleeping island giant. Piece of pie. Scholar. This one I need to do for... Let me see. Song of Serpent Island, right? Ayaw, my tummy. And then we can do it together in song. Song of the Strings. Primal Resonance. Sound of Fate. So much thing I need to see. Mm-hmm. I guess we could do Primal Resonance next. Not today, but the next stream, next GBF stream. Hmm. We cannot do Lowain anymore. Oh, Eternal Future's Day. Heroes return not yet, right? To do this for 
Chapter 48 I have to go to the main quest hmm. What's this? Prince of mm hmm. Oh, the long term dragons. Oh, we could do this footprints on sacred ground. We go back here. Gripping freedom. Oh, here. Main quest chapter 73. What the hell? That's a long way to go. Maybe I'll put that off for a bit. Could do this. Priestess of the Doom got Jean, got Volena in there. Just one side story. Just to get it out of the way and get the weapon. And we see Jin in it. You can bring Jin again. Yeah, why not? We'll do this, I think. It <laughs> depends on my mood. Thing. <laughs> but yeah, we're gonna stop here. Next stream, we'll do Priestess of the Dunes. Maybe. Because everything is not. Everything is not. I can do the next low way in doing it or we do primal resonance. It's either this or this. Okie dokie. We gonna stop here. I wanna say thank you to everyone who clicked here on this stream. Oh wait. I wanna see if I can change my change my scene. I think I can. I can, right? It changed to. I made a new scene just for GBF. Where is it? Oh, it's a GBF end scene. This is my end scene. There's nothing here. Just a picture. <laughs> just a tango for joining my stream. Yeah, I've had a gleefully gay time. Oh yeah, hope everyone have a nice time too. Ugh, my tummy hungry. About time to go eat, feed my cats, do the thing. Maybe we can raid a friend. Say anything? Oh la la. Nah. Maybe not. We just end here. And it's Tanko again. Oh, not tomorrow. I won't stream tomorrow. Tired. <laughs> Let me catch my voice. And the next day, I think, I'm gonna stream the art. Gonna continue coloring as usual. Okie dokie. Tanko. Hope you guys uh, managed to get a lots of BBBs. Hmm. Singles only stream. Bye-bye. My kitty cat call me. Let's go eat.